Um, we'll watch the video in its entirety, then I'll give you a play-by-play, -play, all right? There's a roof door. Okay, roof come in, hit it. Yes, I'll, I'll be, yes, yes. Okay, I'll be out soon. Just wait! Jesus Christ, I'll be out, yes, I'll be out soon, stop! Stop! I'll be out, no, I'll be out soon. Grace, stop. Stop. I'm serious, you just, body just fell over. Can you stop, please? I'll be out soon. Grace. Just stop. Okay, please. I'll be out soon. I'm gonna start typing. I'll be out soon. I will be out soon. Grace! I'll be out soon. Fuck off. Honestly. I'll be out soon. Stop. I'll start throwing shit back at you. See how you like it. I'll be out soon. I will... Can you not? I said I'll be out soon. Stop. 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 Please. I will be out soon. Just stop. All I ask is to confine by myself. Fucking woman, Just go, go away. away. No one, just go away. Leave me alone. I'll be out soon. How many times do I have to tell you? How many times do I have to tell you, Greg? I'll be out soon. Stop. Please. I will be out soon. Okay, I'll be out soon. Girl, this no, you didn't. I will be out soon. Go away. I don't care. I'll be out soon. I'm sick of it. Too. Go away. I will be out soon. Seriously, it's not. It's not necessary. I will say sorry, but I'll come out and say. I will say sorry. Go. Sorry now. Go away. Fuck. Go away. Fuck. Leave me alone. <laughs> Fucking hell, Grace. No, I don't. Fuck off. Just leave me alone for 10 fucking minutes of your life, please! That's all I ask from you! Go away, Grace! I will be out soon! Why don't you take that as an answer? Why don't you listen? Because you've been on it for hours! No, I haven't! Yes, you have! I will be out soon! Yes, you have! I'll be out soon! Get off. I will be out soon! Get off it. Let me finish what I'm doing and I'll be out! Get off it. No, I will be out soon! Get off it. I'll be out soon! They know you fucked listen, pregnant. Listen, I will be out I soon. I hope people know mm -hmm. that I'm pregnant and he just bashed me. Right, Grace. I'll be out soon. No, no gaming anymore. I will be out soon. Fuck off. No gaming anymore. Go away. Off. Yep, go away. No gaming anymore. I will be out soon. No gaming anymore. I will be out soon. No gaming anymore. You don't want to listen. I said I'll be out soon. No gaming anymore. I said I will be out soon. No. Don't listen then. Get off. I'll be out soon. Get I'll be out soon. Go Get away. Leave me alone. Get Fuck off, off your dog. Get you don't pay the fucking bills. Get off the game. I will... He'll be out soon. R -E 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 -E. Go away. Stop touching my fucking shit. Fuck out of here. Go away. Get out of my fucking life! Yeah, fuck off. All you have to do is be fucking patient, you dumb fuck. Fuck off out of here. No, All right. This is my nuclear take, okay? Honestly, I'm gonna go full radical here. If you disagree with me, I really don't care if you unsub forever and fuck off and never come back, okay? I feel very strongly about that. So I, I, I encourage you to. 
I really, really wish that you would just leave my fucking community forever, okay? So, <clears throat> we watched a lot of videos in the past, and I know that, like, people are somewhat woke to this idea that in a lot of domestic abuse, it seems acceptable or funny for women to domestically abuse the man, but when men domestically abuse women, it's some serious shit. And we've seen this played out a million times where if, um, where if, if, a, if a man is attacking a woman publicly, lots of people will step in and stop it, like immediately. I think in one video we watched, they ran it like 20 times, and then like 19 times, like a, somebody stopped when there was a man hitting a woman on the side of the whatever. Actually, you know what? Can we just watch this? Hold on. Um, I think it's like a 10 minute video. We can watch it real quick. Oh, it's only like a five minute video. There's been tons of like things on this. Where thing, you want me to show you? Hands in your hands or something. Where is it? Where is it? Have you got any? Just do it. Just Stop do it. it. Just Will. do it. What? Please. What? Don't what? scowl like that like you're scared. Where'd you put it? Where is it? Do you want to smack again? Oh, this isn't even the video we watched. Maybe the outcome here will be different. Let's find out. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Will? Do you want to smack? Okay. Lots of us would worry if we saw a man abusing a woman on the street. Some of us might even intervene. However, what if the tables were turned and there was a woman abusing a man? So this is Will. We're going to test this out in public and Will's going to start by being the aggressor and he's going to verbally and physically intimidate me. Are you ready for this? Exactly. Oh, can you show me? Just, just, just do that. Hey. Will, Thank you. Well, you should clearly got fired. You get clean help. Yeah, thank you so much. So why do people react in the way they did? I was shocked. I couldn't believe this happened in the middle of all this. I walked past her for one time and she flinched and I thought, like, is this really happening? I'm like, how am walking? I don't think we watched this one either. It was different. Um, but I, we, we won't watch a ton of them. We just want them to get the idea. I don't know what they'll say in this video, but in the, in the one that I'm familiar with, the general gist is that if the woman is shouting at the man, he probably did something to deserve it. And it was kind of funny. That usually, if the woman is abusing the man, he usually deserves it. Which a lot of you guys have repeated that same rhetoric, whether or not you um, understand it or not. Kelly said, oh, well, she was pregnant, so it was hormonal. So that's her excuse for domestically abusing the guy. Or the guy didn't go downstairs quick enough um, after she made dinner. He waited an hour. So that's his reason for being domestically abused. Or that the guy was telling her to shut up or fuck off and that's his reason for being a domestically abused a lot of you guys gave the same types of excuses that he deserved it that he was doing things that warranted being attacked um, a lot of you in chat were saying that but and i see a lot of other people saying that um very very common like uh abuser of apologia but when it's done to a guy it's totally fine when or i'm sorry when it's done like for a woman who's abusing a guy it's totally fine um, we will constantly make excuses for women that domestically abuse um that domestically abuse uh men I look back at her and she must have pinched again and thought, no, I can't. I can't walk away from this. Just pick it up and just hand it over. <laughs> okay, so these are the types of nuclear takes that I don't ever want you to come back, okay? So, attacked with small objects like cardboard? Um, we'll go through the video you can watch later, but sincerely, please, don't ever fucking come back. Just don't. I'm fucking serious, okay? This is actually, like, there are, like, so many things that MRAs complain about, and this is actually one of those issues where I thought, the reason why I don't ever talk about this, and I see that, and I admit that it's a mistake now, I don't ever talk about shit like this, and MRA is a men's rights activist. The reason why I don't talk about this is because I thought that this was really obvious, because a lot of what we're talking about deals with concepts of toxic masculinity that actually falls under feminism, right? Right? So the idea that if it's a man, he should just take it, that a woman can't hurt a man, right? I thought that these were obvious things. And I never talk about it. I'm not going to sit here and focus on how wrong it is for women to domestically abuse men because I thought this was common sense. But very, very fucking clearly, it is not a common sense issue. There are a lot of people in here included that think that, well, it's not like she's throwing anything big at them. Well, it's not like she's hurting him that much that are giving, so oh, she's pregnant. She was hormonal. Oh, the guy was ignoring her that are giving so many excuses for it. And it's fucking disgusting. Um... Yeah, but here, well, I'm sorry, we'll just, just so you get kind of like the general gist. I, I haven't watched them before, but we got like three minutes. She was flitching and looked scared enough. Do it. Yeah, so this is another one. I don't care that you're a subscriber, okay? Wait, where did it go? All right, I don't want to permanently ban you. Nobody beat the shit out of anybody in any of these videos. I don't know why you think that, and I don't know why you... Well, I can guess why you're saying it. Because any time a man lays his hands on a woman, it counts as beating the shit out of somebody. I don't know... 
I know why you're saying it. It's just so incredibly fucking stupid. It's very fucking hard for you to not ban you, but I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a little bit more centered. But your take on this is very fucking stupid, okay? Also, keep in mind that in all of today, regardless of how much dumb shit I've said, I never said retarded or autistic. And man, if I wanted to today so fucking much, okay? So give me props for that. Nice straw man. Um, yeah, hold on. That's a ban. Because the guy literally said beat the shit out of. So see it. Wait, hold on. No, not that guy. Fuck, what's this guy's name? Nice straw man. IP ban. Bowie, peace. Um, if you make excuse for domestic abuse on the on the fucking woman's side, whew, you're fucking gone. Easy, easiest ban of my life. The way it looks, it looked like she was expecting to get hit, so that's why you sort of got to jump in, really. Her body language is very obviously uncomfortable. I couldn't walk past without saying something. Yeah. Yeah. Then we switch roles. Give it to me. <laughs> This woman looks bad, but keeps walking. I was surprised, but it was aggressive. Um, I wanted to say something, but then I was like, no. Look at me, stop it! Right, don't look at me, all right. what are you doing? Okay. My thought was, it looks a bit soft. I feel bad thinking that, because it's gonna match over you, but I thought, it looks a bit soft letting him hit her like that. And I got the classic thing go through my head, I wouldn't let a girl hit me, that's terrible, because why do I think that? That's a kind of stereotypical view. I don't know what he's done to upset her. He might say something really, really personal. Yeah, okay, so that's funny. So, firstly, this is a kind of a bullshit thing for me to do because it's possible that this has been edited to only include the sides that agree with this. It's possible that they're in an area where people are more likely to be meaner to men than women. There's a lot of things that make this not the perfect test. These are the same types of things that I hear in the past, though, is usually if you see a woman attacking a man, it's because the man deserved it. This guy is kind of saying the same thing. Well, maybe he said something really bad to deserve it, you know? I'm upsetting. A mum and a daughter's approach. Look at me! Look me in the face! Come on! And walk straight past. That the thought didn't come to my mind, so go and say, what are you doing to him? Leave him alone. Um, you saw, I thought that the man would have, I think that the man done something to the woman, like, I don't know, touched her or something, and then she, that's why she got mad. And that's why, she, yeah, that's why she got mad. So you think it could have been his fault? Yeah, that's why. Look, okay. Do you want to smack? No. Wait, what did this say? Smack. Look, okay. Elaine shouted at Will for 1.5 hours. This time only one person stopped. So in the other videos I've seen, it's at, it's always this extreme where they'll run this like for like 20 times and like zero people will stop or maybe one person will stop. Like, But when they do it with the girl and the guy, almost every single time when the guy is being abused towards a girl, almost every single time somebody will stop. Do you smack? No. Do smack? No. What is it? What is it? If he had been shouting at her, would you have stopped? Yes, I would have. I would have stopped. Unfortunately, we do have this kind of stereotype that a woman has less power than a man, but I've also unfortunately had friends who have been in the other reverse with three abusive relationships, so it can happen both ways. They didn't class it as that, but they have been hit in argument situations, which is exactly the same thing. But he used to think it was okay because he was a big, strong guy. It didn't hurt him, but it's still physical. He was very embarrassed about it. In their lifetime, one in six men will suffer from domestic abuse. The number of... So, <clears throat> for the record... All domestic abuse is bad, and nobody should be hitting anybody in a relationship, okay? The fact that these two people are fighting in front of their kids is fucking horrible. And these kids are probably going to grow up fucked because their parents fight in front of each other, okay? So to be clear, I'm not defending necessarily either person, but I think it is incredibly clear that the woman is the one instigating this a million times over, and if I could give all of my money to make another dimension where these roles are swapped... I think that most people would be saying that the person sitting down playing the game is doing very little wrong, and the person standing up and attacking that person is almost 100% at fault. I am very confident that if we swapped these gender roles, that's what people would be saying. So let's see what's happening, okay? So here, she's shouting at the guy. This is fine. I mean, should you shout at people? I mean, probably not. But we're not, like, at abusive levels of shit yet. Could it be abusive? Maybe. I don't know the context of the relationship, but on its face, shouting at somebody is okay. So she shouts at him. I know that you can't hear it. I know it's quiet. I can't do anything about it, okay? I, there's nothing I can do, okay? So. Just wait. Jesus Christ. So here's another comment that I keep seeing over and over again. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to repeat this phrase a million times and you're still not going to understand So people keep saying are you saying an instigator is worse than an escalator? Are you saying that he's okay with escalating it to physical abuse? Okay, here are two things that you need to understand It's okay if you disagree, but you're just factually wrong The woman began with the domestic abuse and the woman began with the physical abuse Okay, what the woman did to the guy was assault period whether you like that or not, it doesn't matter. But the woman started to make it physical. The man did not begin to make it physically violent. The woman did. Did the man make it more physically violent? I don't know. That's arguable. 
But the woman is the one that started the physical violence. So at this point in the video, I'm only guessing based on the way he flinches, based on the noises, and based on him saying stop, it seems like she's already throwing shit. Now there are two or three times where I think it's pretty clear that she is. Um, hold on. Like him saying no here, it sounds like she's picking shit up and about to throw it. You can hear stuff being like moved or whatever. I'll be out soon. Stop. Stop. I'll be out. No, I'll be out soon. Great. Stop. Stop. I'm serious. You just body just fell over. Can you stop, please? I'll be out soon. Great. Just stop. It looks like she just threw something there. So he is making attempts. Now, whether or not you think he's rude or mean or he's a man or a woman, he is making attempts here to de escalate the situation, telling her to stop. Telling her that he'll be out soon. These are attempts to de-escalate a situation. Whether or not you believe that or not, okay? Imagine a woman is sitting here saying, Stop, I'll be done soon. And a guy is just throwing things at her. All of you would be losing your shit. Please, I'll be out soon. I'm going to start typing. I'll be out soon. I'll be out soon. Great, I'll be out soon. Fuck off. Looks like she threw something else. I don't know what it is. I can't tell. I can't see it, but... Honestly... That was something else that was thrown. Stop. I'll start throwing shit back at you. See how you like it. I'll be out soon. I will... She threw something else at him. LOL, it's just a cardboard box. This is the only thing we've seen thrown so far. Can you not? I said I'll be out soon. He's still... And now he gets up. It, I don't know if she's coming over to hit him right now. It looks like when he stands up. Now, this is, I don't know, but it looks like she's coming over to smack him right now. I don't know. I can't tell. He could be deflecting another thrown object. Not. I said I'll be out soon. Stop. But he stands up and he moves his arms like that. I don't know what happens, but. So she gets slapped here. So is he right for slapping her? Probably not. But at this point, he's tried to de-escalate for a solid 45 seconds, and she's thrown at least three objects at him. The fact that you can look at this right here and think that this guy is one million fucking percent, like, in the wrong and horrible, and she's not doing anything to deserve this, you have such a fucked idea on what domestic abuse is. This is fucking bullshit. And the fact that she throws these fake-ass fucking crocodile tears here and then comes right back for more five seconds later... So, he hits her, sounds bad, doesn't sound like he's beating the shit out of her. I understand a lot of you are 16-year-old incel little virgins that fucking think that one person getting hit is literally the same as beating the shit out of somebody. That's fine, that's great. If you've lived your life such that you've never seen anybody, you know, actually do it, I'm, you know, congratulations for you. But it doesn't sound like he's sitting here fucking wailing on her. Doesn't sound like he's literally fucking WWF just smashing the shit out of her. Sounds like he slapped her once and it sounds like she fucking backed up, chilled out. Not that it's good to do it. Shouldn't be violent at all. Probably should have left the house and called the cops, as shitty as it is. Why do you assume they're fake tears? Sure. Well, let's find out. So. Slaps her. He's telling her to stop. He sounds like he's trying to de-escalate after escalating. She's screaming that he's a woman beater. He's trying to de-escalate right now. Whether you like it or not that he hit her, he's trying to de-escalate. He's saying he'll be out soon, telling her to stop multiple fucking times. Goes back to his computer. She threw something else again. 20 seconds after, not even, after crying. She, it sounds like she just threw something else at him. Now she's coming back in and she is escalating again. He's trying to de-escalate, telling her to go away. Go away. 
He's telling her to go away. He's trying to de-escalate. Unfortunately, one thing that I know this guy probably knows it by now. I know it by personal experience, but a lot of you guys don't know this. When somebody is being physically abusive to you, you can't just tell them to go away because people that are physically abusive don't listen to that. It doesn't work. I know a lot of you in chat are screaming that he should have tried to de-escalate, ignoring the fact that one, he did, and two, when somebody is being domestically abusive, just telling them to stop doesn't work. It's not how any of that works. I know that you maybe a lot of people think it does, but it's not how it works. And you clearly see that happening here. He's told her like 50 million times to stop, and she's not doing it. He tells her again to go away, and she says, not until I make my point. She's going to stay there and fight with him until she gets what she wants out of whatever the fuck this scenario is. He sits down again. This is total de-escalation. He's not being physical at all. He sits down. Sounds like she just threw something else. She tells him to say sorry. I wouldn't in this scenario. He does. He says, I will say sorry. Sounds like while she's saying this, she's still throwing shit at him. That's what it looks like I'm, by the way he's reacting. Then he gets up again. Sounds like he hits her again, which he shouldn't, but he does. But it doesn't sound like he's beating the shit out of her. Doesn't sound like he's getting on top of her and smashing her fucking face, and it sounds like he slapped her again. She does her crying routine again. Saying that he's a woman beater. He's back at his computer, about to sit down. Just leave me alone for ten fucking minutes of your life, please. That's all I ask from you. Go away, Grace. I will be out soon. Why don't you take that as an answer? Why don't you listen? Because you've been on it for hours. No, I haven't. He is completely de-escalated. He's sitting down in his chair, and not ten seconds after crying and screaming, she's back here again to escalate again to physical violence. Yeah. Keep in mind that she has escalated it to physical violence every single time. She's not hitting him, but she is throwing things at him. That is a physical assault, all right? She's literally throwing shit at him. He's telling her to go away. He said he'll be out soon. He's telling her to go away. He's trying to de-escalate. She's not listening. No, I will be out soon. I'll be out soon. Listen, listen, I will be out soon. Put his headphones back on. He's sitting on the computer. He's trying to de-escalate. Right, Grace. I'll be out soon. I will be out soon. I don't know what just happened there. If he just got mad or if she just threw something else, I can't tell. I will be out soon. Fuck off. Go away. Yep, go away. She threatens to turn the electricity off, probably to try to get a reaction out of him, but he's not moving. I will be out soon. I will be out soon. You don't want to listen. I said I'll be out soon. I said I will be out soon. Don't listen then. I'll be out soon. I'll be out soon. I don't know what that was. Did she throw something at the camera? I don't know why it moved there. I'll be out soon. Or if she's threatening to break his stuff, she might be standing right next to the computer. I can't tell. Soon. Go away. Leave me alone. Fuck off, you dog. You don't pay the fucking bills. Now it looks like she's trying to break shit again. She's literally on top of his shit. You don't pay the fucking bills. Get off the game. I and then he hits her again. She does her screaming routine again. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Stop touching my fucking shit. Fuck out of here. Go away. Get out of my fucking life. They're disengaged. The guy's back at the computer. The situation is de escalated. And then, once again, within 15 seconds of doing her crying routine, she's back being violent once again. I'm sorry, like. Anybody that defends the woman here is a literal fucking subhuman piece of shit. Like, 
I don't like I don't even know how you can even begin to think that her actions here are remotely okay. She instigates every single physical violence here. She starts every single time. And is the guy right for slapping her? No, he's not. But every single time he does and backs off, she keeps coming back, not to talk, not to, you know, whatever, but to be physically abusive over and over and over again. People are linking pictures in chat of, of the guy um, that this is apparently pictures that he's taken of abuse in the past. I don't even care. I don't need these. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care because it doesn't even matter whether or not he's had pictures that we're doing in the past. This video speaks for itself. Okay. Like, The abuse looks fake for the record. Those scratches look like negative imprints of her hands. All right, dude. See ya. Do you think he should have left and called the cops? Yeah. Ideally, what you're supposed to do is leave and call the cops. That's what you should do in these situations. However, when you are being, you have to be careful because the double standards here are fucking insane. And the links that people will go to to tell what the guy should have done is hilarious. Because if you reverse the roles ever here, everybody would be dog on the person. Why did the woman stay at the party so long when the guy was hitting her? Why did she take all those drinks? She knew she was going to get raped. Why did, you know, why didn't she just tell the guy to fuck off? Why didn't she just back off and call her friends? Like, and, and the reasonable answer is that most people will give when they're looking at scenarios like this is, oh, when people are being abused or when people are put into certain situations, they don't always act as reasonably as they could, right? If you are ever in a domestic abuse situation, your best bet is generally, at least if you're a woman, is to back away and call the police. It's usually your best bet 99% of the time. Now, I know that it works differently for different people, and I know anecdotal evidence is bullshit, um, I should look up numbers, but all three times that I called the police, two of the times that the people came out here, they blamed me for what happened. So when Rachel would get physically violent with the, with me, three times, one time when my mom was even visiting, I called the cops. Two of those three times, it was women police that showed up, and they said that it was my fault that the domestic abuse was taking place. They asked me what I was doing to her and why I was driving her to that, and that was it. I think I, I don't even think they filled out a police report one of the times when I made the call and they showed up. Um, I was still at the house. I was the one that placed the call. She left. They didn't give a fuck, and that was it. Um, now, maybe... Some people don't take domestic abuse as seriously when it's happening to men. Um, I don't know. Reading the chats and the subreddits and the YouTube comments and the tweets um, kind of seems that way. Uh, somebody tweeted out that they had called the Australian police or whatever to say that the guy had pedophilic or had child porn because I guess the guy had like had a video of like his kids in the bathtub. I don't know if it was like pornographic or if it was just like a dad taking video, but like and everybody was like celebrating. Like, yeah, get this. Get this fucking child abuser out here. Send him to fucking jail. I was like, damn. Um yeah, anyway, you guys are, um, I'm actually like, I'm actually so incredibly fucking disappointed. Um, I never talk about, I never talk about MRA issues because I thought that there were some things that were just givens. Um, the fact that like men don't always get treated fairly in family court and the fact that toxic masculinity can be pervasive and all, like, do you guys believe that, that men have an unfair burden placed on them to be emotionally stoic? Do you not believe that? I don't know. I'm not actually sure. Um, this is something that I, I, I've always assumed is true and I always assumed my whole audience knew it was true that um, oftentimes men are made to be not emotional. You're not allowed to show emotion. Um, a lot of men are discriminated from reporting mental abuse. Um, maybe you guys don't believe that either. I'm not sure. Um, but this is, these are things that are really obvious to me. I don't usually hand on them um, because MRAs are so disgusting, you know, so much of the time. I was like, I'm not going to waste my time talking about this. Like, I know this is true. Like, this is a horrible aspect of, of, of one of the ways that masculinity is really toxic in society. Another one of those ways is that whenever domestic abuse occurs towards a man, it's always very funny. Um, you know, the, the guy probably did something to deserve it. Uh, you know, like the girl, you know, maybe she's on her period. Maybe she's pregnant. You know, sometimes girls just hit guys. It's LOL or whatever. That was another issue that I thought was just kind of like a, like a, oh, you know, I'm not going to talk about this. Like everybody obviously knows that this is like really fucked up. But um, when I watched a video of a woman aggressing on a man, and escalating it to physical violence over and over and over and over again. And then every single person, all the most upvoted comments, all the YouTube comments, so many fucking tweets, are sitting here de celebrating the fact that the man went to jail, saying that um, the man was abusive, blah, 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 blah. The, and then making all these excuses for the woman. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. 
it actually blew my fucking mind. I was actually so incredibly disappointed. Um, yeah, especially in you guys, I guess. That's like, um, yeah, wow. I was going to start banning a ton of people off my sub. I was recording the names. It's really hard to do it on mobile. Um, let's see what some of the comments we were going through. Oh, my God. These were some of the, like, saddest fucking takes. Yeah, Kelly in my fucking chat. Kelly Jean saying this dumb shit like, um, the, the woman was pregnant. Maybe that's why she was physically abusive. I'll play against Mr. Went in like 20 minutes. Hold on. All right. What's up? Oof. Oh, I can't. Oh, give me those down votes. I love it. Negative 50, negative 20, negative... Oh, yeah. Give them all to me, dude. Yes. I love it. I love it. Okay. Are we good? Um. All right. I need to... We got to show parents. Let's see. Destiny, this doesn't prove your point, my dear. The entire assumption when you use this video as evidence is that Australians are human. Nice, man. <clears throat> this idea over and over again, trying to excuse her actions by saying she's a pregnant woman and then trying to say that the guy was beating on her, right? I wish so badly I could have a video with a girl sitting at a computer and a guy just throwing fucking shit at her, just throwing shit at her over and over again. I, how fucking livid would so many people be for a girl to just be on the computer telling a guy, stop, stop, I'll be off soon, stop, and the guy's just fucking throwing shit at her fucking face. You hear shit rattling in the background as he's breaking her shit? Fuck, I fucking wish I had that video. Oh my God, I wish I had that fucking video. Um, this follows everything to the letter that I think about Destiny, incapable of separating his past. Because he got in fights with his ex often, he feels he has to justify the stand-in for Destiny in that situation. The woman was wrong, sure. She obviously was looking for a fight. There's no way you can justify the man getting up and smacking, smacking the shit out of the woman. The violence the man did was a warning to the woman, don't fuck with me or I will fuck you up. Notice how it was the man, though, that was de-escalating after every attack, how he would back off and go to his computer, and the woman would come back every single time to re-engage physical violence. Every single time. But I, I guess because, yeah, because it's a guy, it doesn't matter. Oh, this girl had a really fucking dumb take. Everyone admits they were both in the wrong. We all have a bias, but Destiny is as clear as day, and it's clouding his judgment. It seems like he's trying to justify his abuse of Rachel. Boys and girls, this has taken a dark turn. Oof, that's a, oof, that's an easy, that's an easy one. Peace. See you later, bud. I was in a household where I got death threats, was physically and mentally abused. I responsibly fled the scene, called the police, and sorted the situation out with the officers. This happened multiple times, and I was finally able to live away from this person. Yes, this person was a woman. Imagine, like, imagine the read on this. Imagine the read on this. I was in a household where I was threatened to be raped and was physically and mentally abused multiple times. Every time I was going to be raped, I fled the scene and called the police, and then I sorted the situation out with officers. This happened multiple times. Like... You would never, ever use this excuse if it was a woman. You would never, ever fucking say that. If this was a fucking woman, a person like this would be fucking absolutely demonized. If a woman was defending herself from a man abusing her, like, why didn't you just flee the house? Why didn't you just run away, LOL? Why didn't you just leave, LOL? Why didn't you just not get raped, LOL? Why didn't you just not get abused, LOL? Nobody would ever say that to a woman, ever. But because it's a guy, that's fine. It's okay. Oof, that's, a, that's an easy one, too. Fuck, where are the new band tools? They're hard to find. Oh, yeah. Oh, just lay it. Just lay it down.
Destiny with things like LOL, how many people die from slaps LOL, and he resorted to slapping her real fast so she must be terrible are such unfathomably bad takes I don't even want to watch him anymore. Please don't. Oh, that's another easy one. Oh, Ren Lee. Oh, wait, where do we go? Right here. I came from an abusive household. My father had anger problems. Sometimes it'd just be a slap. Sometimes he'd choke out my mom. Sometimes he'd dig a hole, throw my brother in it, and start filling it. Just slapping can and often does turn into an even higher escalation of violence. Wow. I wonder if any other physically violent thing could ever turn into a higher escalation of violence. Nope. Probably only slapping, I guess. No way could thro throwing shit at people or breaking shit ever turn into anything more than that. <laughs> they would probably just end there, even though the woman continued to escalate every single time when the man ignored her. But, <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. No, this guy deleted his comment? Wait. <laughs> no, shit. What was his name? He can't escape the ban hammer. God damn it. He got away. And he, oh, and another one. And he could have exited his game and had dinner with the family instead of punching her in the fucking face. Imagine using the same thing on a woman. A woman is sitting at a computer, guys throwing shit at her fucking face. Maybe if she would have just gotten up off the fucking computer, maybe the guy wouldn't have had to physically abuse her. I love the excuse making. Also, punched her in the, how, this is another thing. And again, like, I know that we all have different life experiences. I know that most of you are like, um, have probably never seen violence in your entire life, which is cool. That's great. But like, when you think that slap Slapping somebody is the same as punching somebody? What the fuck is wrong with you? How fucking stupid do you have to be? Like, are you fucking serious? I like that a slap is literally the same as beating the shit out of someone. Like, holy shit. Oh, fuck. Where did we go? Where were we? We should just make a thread, and you guys can all line up to, uh, to kamikaze yourselves, okay? Because this is a... <laughs> this is a zero tolerance. Alright. Are we good? Oh, reminder to ban my other account, too. Oh, yeah, I can do that, my dude. Yeah, no problem. Wait, where do I go? Ah, oh, fuck. This is the guy that does the, uh, that does the bot for my subreddit. Well, rip. How do I unmod somebody? Wait, fuck. What's this one? That might not be his alt account, right? He could just be throwing that other account under the bus. <laughs> oh shit, you're right. Actually, that could be true. <laughs> I should have checked it. That'd be pretty funny if he was lying. Oh well, I guess the guy will tell me.
Oh, yeah, this is the tweet earlier that I said. So they're charging him for assault of his girlfriend, but whoops, I seem to have notified more authorities on the fact that he's in fact been charged with child porn and recorded his own child nude. Ouch, can't wait to see what happens next. Sorry, Luke. But people are definitely mad at both sides here. I don't know if this is if there's any truth to this. I saw somebody say that apparently he has like taken a video of like his kid like playing in the bathtub, and so people are trying to spin that into child porn or whatever. I don't know if there's any truth to any of this, but man, people sure are happy. Normally, I'm against doing this kind of stuff to somebody, but this dude absolutely deserves it. Glad he's getting his comeuppance. I'm pretty sure this kid is a 14-year-old dipshit. Yeah, maybe. Imagine if you had a Twitter account. Whew, if I had a Twitter account. Oh, Alicia's takes on everything politically related are always really fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. Is it time for some Call of Duty, Mr. Putin? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Can I give my take, Steve? It's not too far off from yours. I think for, my, for most of what uh, you said Can I just tell you what you're going to say? That yeah, you're going to say most of what you said is correct, Steven, but like the guy shouldn't have hit her. Is, is that pretty much your take? Um, I mean, obviously you shouldn't have hit her, right? You would agree with that? Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay, cool. But I think um, the people who are saying that like, this guy should be arrested for child porn and that, um, like, he did nothing wrong should probably be executed on the spot. Because, um, I mean, he definitely fucked up. But I think the girl fucked up really fucking hard, too. Um, okay, but, so, like, man, can the... we agree that that slap... It was like, um, I, okay, so okay, obviously, wait, 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 I don't stop, 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 stop. can I just, yeah, okay, because this go, is really go, triggering yeah, me, okay? Go, go, yeah. What are you supposed to do when somebody is being physically as abusive dumb to you? As it sounds, and I know it's the LOL, get out of this relationship, LOL, like leave the house. I mean, that's kind of what you have to do. Okay, no, 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 I know, no. But aside from leaving, which would be the, that would be sure. the optimal thing, what are you supposed to do to stop somebody that's being physically abusive towards you? You have to leave. That's it. So that's it. Okay. I mean, you can either leave or you can escalate it more and fight them, which is incorrect, which is wrong. Well, so if you want to be in the, okay, if you yeah. want to be in the most right, the only thing you can do is leave. Yeah, I agree with that. The most right, yeah, sure. The most. But if right you right. have to make it physical, a slap is about the best you can do. Probably. I don't understand. I still assault people... again. But like now we're countering we're... assault with assault. Well, I mean, self-defense, arguably, maybe, depending on. I don't know if I would say it's self-defense. Do you think here. that he was? Like, but it's definitely aggravated. Fear of his life, or... What? Yeah, sure. Fear of his life, no. But the problem is that no. he's in his own house, being attacked yeah. by somebody that won't fuck off. That won't fucking stop. Sure, it's really annoying. No, it's not annoying. It's fucking abuse. It is abuse. Oh. Yeah, I agree with you. But it's super annoying too because all it's he can he can literally enough. it's abuse. I agree with you. I agree with you. It's abuse. Like I the 100 fact agree. that you said that, nobody would ever fucking say that if it was a girl and a guy. Nobody would say, yeah, it's really annoying that the guy's just no, throwing I know, shit at the girl. No, I know, and that's super. It's not fucked. just annoying. I agree with you. I know it's abuse. I agree with you. I agree with you. The best thing he could do is leave. Literally. Sure, I agree with that. I agree. But I'm slightly sympathetic to people that are in abusive situations for not making the best decisions at the time. Would yeah. you agree that most women could probably avoid being raped? You would agree with that, right? It's probably true. I mean, probably. Yeah. 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 It sounds you, bad, but yeah. Yes. However, what we understand is that people put in certain situations don't always react in the best way because we are not perfectly rational beings at all points in time. And when you're confronted with a situation that is incredibly fucking nerve wracking for you, you don't always make the best decisions. This is why we usually don't blame women that get raped. We usually don't say like, hey, you know, there are all you these things went that you could have party. Been, yeah, there's a million things. Yeah, you yeah, should carry sure. pepper spray. You should have pushed the guy off. You should have kicked him in the balls. You should, right? But what happens? Well, a you lot of the times, the victim, you're yeah. just scared. Yeah, and you don't always think like perfectly rationally. Maybe you think, well, if, maybe if I don't do anything, maybe he'll leave me alone. Or maybe he'll just rape me, but he won't hurt me, right? These are thoughts. These aren't totally rational. These are There are things you could do, but we don't usually blame people for being irrational when they're in highly emotional like states. So when a woman is sitting here literally escalating on a guy over and over and over and over, 
over again. Is it wrong for him to cyber? Sure. But I can understand why this guy might not think immediately like, okay, well, I'm being consistently physically abused by my partner. Maybe I need to get up, kind of like move out of the house as she continues to attack like a, me and yeah, then call no. the police. Right? Yeah. I like, should he have done I that? that? Sure. But that's a really people hard. Will agree with you. I, I think most reasonable people will, yes, agree with you. That, it's um, just really annoying that people are trying to say that the man needed to be the ultimate paragon, oh, yeah. the ultimate paragon of logic and reason, and the woman is just kind of, you know, oh, well, maybe she's mad. And it's like, what the fuck? Okay, also, I pushed the Windows key into something, and I moved everything off my desk. I think I made a second desktop. How do I get you my other? Need, you need to do Alt-Windows, I think? Is it Alt-Windows? Um, Alt-Windows P? I don't fucking remember. Someone in chat, I don't know. Oh. Um, yeah. I think like the big issue is taking gender aside that it's like oh. a way I would assume because it's a man I guess keep in mind gender that it's probably a bigger person and I'm probably never gonna like hit someone small. Um, I understand that. Yeah, but sure. The problem I know that I'm yeah. trying to give you is that when somebody is in your face. Being it's a physically abusive. You can't be rational. There's I nothing agree. you can do to get them to fucking stop. Now, if this was in a public place, I would 100% be more critical of the guy for for not backing off. Because in a public place, you can leave. You can literally. You leave. can just fucking yeah, but walk. His... Out. But he's in his yeah. fucking. This is why. So, for instance, like um, like the guy in the subway, the black dude in the subway that stopped that one woman. That was probably <laughs> too much. Okay, she was being annoying. She did attack him first, which is really fucking shitty. But like, you know, he has options to like leave there and being the much larger person, he probably should. But when you're in your own own fucking house being constantly fucking attacked by somebody that's supposed to be your domestic partner i don't know dude yeah i mean in the best world he would have walked away um but it's not always the best world so i'm not saying that like i i don't think that she deserved slapped or anything but it's just—it's one of those said, things. She wasn't doing like, yourself any yeah. favors. Well, I don't like to say like deserved. Like if somebody walks up to me, okay, so let's say theoretically that I'm caring, and a guy walks up to me and he starts like punching me, okay, and I'm like, dude, like fuck off, and then the guy pulls out a pipe, right? I'm probably gonna fucking kill the guy. Now, does he deserve to be killed? I mean, like, I don't fucking know what the answer to that question is. Does the guy deserve to die? That's a loaded fucking question. I don't know. But I'm not going to sit there and let some dude fucking smack me up with a fucking pipe because I might get fucking killed. I don't fucking know. So, like, when, you, when you've when you got somebody that's constantly attacking somebody over and over again, might be blocking his only exit, might threaten to break all of his shit, maybe the guy doesn't want to leave the house and call the cops because he thinks she's going to destroy everything he fucking owns. You know? Is it still worth it? Should he, should he leave? Yeah, maybe. But, man, that's a really fucking hard line to just say, like, dude, listen, I know it might be yeah. hard to accept but maybe she is going to break every single fucking thing you own and maybe you'll call the cops and they won't even do shit but you should just leave anyway like that's a really fucking hard call to make i think the issue is like it sounds like you're downplaying the violence at some points right when you're saying like he just slapped her he didn't like beat the shit out of her and well, i agree i just want people like, to be realistic with yeah i just want people her. to be realistic about the type of violence he enacted because what he sure. did was like the minimum level of violence that you can do towards <sighs> somebody that's what else could he have done this okay he could have like just pushed her away first. That's like a that's lower than a slap. Okay, Wait, would so, you agree with that? I don't know. So that's not necessarily but the issue true. Is like, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is also something sure. that's really important. And I noticed that we get into this argument when we watch the video of the black officer um, trying to remove the like the fourteen year old girl out of the chair, or the United people trying to remove that Asian guy from the chair. When somebody sure. is being physically resistive, and maybe there's somebody in chat that's like a police officer or somebody with military training, okay? Um, because I know they will agree with me because I've talked to people about this in the past. Out of this, okay? When somebody is being physically resistive, even if they're a small person. It can be very fucking hard to handle this person. And a lot of the times when I read comments about what the guy should have done, it sounds like people think that there's some magical, like, mystery Aikido set of moves that you can use to no, neutralize a person that's trying to hurt you. That's not true. A small person can be really, really, really fucking harmful to you when they're trying to be harmful. It's really fucking hard to get somebody to not try to fucking hurt you. I have trouble fucking with Nathan sometimes. He's only fucking seven years old, okay? And Nathan doesn't even really try to, like, this is just what we're playing. He doesn't even really try to hurt me, right? So I can't imagine, even if it's a woman that's only, like, a hundred five pounds that's constantly trying to fucking hurt you can do some fucking damage so like should he have slapped her no but this is like we're talking minimum levels of force used here it's not like the guy like was choking no, her out or trying to like punch the shit curious. out of her or beat her i mean either. until later he did literally punch the shit i don't out know of her, if he no it when? looks like it you don't um know like that. two three minutes into the video it looks like he does like the full-on like fist wind up gets up and like it lit out for from my perspective it looks like he goes and just fucking hits her, like really, like fucking decks her. Like the slap, I agree, that's pretty low. 
Um, but it did sound like a pretty fucking big slap. But I'm okay, not saying like so it's, it's both of us are sure. using conjecture here. Okay. Yes, we both are. of us I are using conjecture. Here, but in my opinion, okay, that guy looks like a pretty big dude to me. I don't know what the woman looks like, but if a guy like that was really and, and he was that fucking mad, wound up a big ass fucking punch right into her face, that woman is going to be on the fucking ground. No way is she going to be crying a little bit and then coming back for more. Have that you punch ever is seen? Gonna fucking okay, wait, hurt. wait, wait. Have There's you ever no seen way. like a kid get like hit or something and they get really like they cry for a little bit like a split second and then they get really upset mad in the sure. face and like yeah. will run at you that's kind of what i think is happening here is basically the girl gets surprised Mister, gets hit runs at like the dude the or um, cries a little bit on. and then starts running at the dude i don't think this like um this guy in the back left he might have jumped out already i don't think this like um oh well if she was actually really hurt then she wouldn't have got back up and like fought him like i don't think that's correct at all and it's uh, people... The thing is, is that I don't think she was really hurt. What she was trying to do was she was trying to get a reaction out of the guy. Crying does that. Shouting at him does that. Throwing things does that. Breaking, Sit like, rep. if you look at it, Central like, if I give you this lens to look at it, every action she does make sense. She's trying to do something advised. to him to get him to care about the situation. And that's all she's doing. She's escalating it more and more and more and more until he cares. Screaming doesn't work, so she throws things. Throwing things doesn't work, so she starts trying to break his things. Breaking things doesn't work, so she comes up to hit him. That's like every single action she's taking is consistent with that, like, line of thought. Sure, I think your point was that um, she you're saying she wasn't hurt at all. I don't think she was, no. Okay. I, I mean, um, and I could be wrong. I was just kind of saying that I, I, people in the chat are saying, obviously. yeah, sure. People in the chat are saying that the police report said there were no injuries. I mean, I, I mean, I can't truly know. It is possible that he did swing and punch her. Fuck. There's a guy over here. It's just you and me. Um, because to me in the video it looks like he slaps her once. He punches her twice. I don't think he ever punched her. I mean, again, I could be wrong, but it, I mean, it doesn't. I, well, obviously, yeah. I don't know. Hassan wants to debate, by the way. Oh, fuck, I was not watching at all. Yeah, it's the same guy, level two. Um, I think the big issue for him, and like the nail in the coffin for me, that he. Well, I mean, the nail in the coffin is that he like hit her. That they he did something wrong is that like it was in front of the fucking kids. Sure, that's but that's like on both one. of them, and she's for, instigating, sure. so she's Agreed. more in the wrong there. He's still in the wrong, for sure. But she is the instigator. I have so little care for somebody that is instigating physical violence, like, which is what she is doing. She is the instigator there, and she is the one that is continuing to make it physical over and over and over again. Okay, everybody telling us XQC wants to play. I understand. And stuff. I hate we squads. don't like playing squads, guys. We really I'll, fucking if, hate playing squads. If squad he ever wants to play, if he ever wants to do duos, I'll always do it with you, XQC. I love you, buddy. If you ever want to do it, but I fucking hate squads. Squads are literally dog shit. If Hassan wants to come in and chat, you feel free to do so as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't think your take is bad. I just, um, it's, it's just to so me, it sounded like you like, were trying to like downplay the man's like violence which was the big well, issue. Well, I mean but, uh, compared to what most people are saying it is, I am significantly downplaying uh, it. Like people are making it sound like this guy came out of nowhere and just started fucking beating on him. Yeah, it's like he definitely didn't do that. And I didn't I mean I didn't read all the comments on your subreddit, but um I guess in like the chat, me reading Destiny.gg chat, it didn't seem like anybody was saying that like um he was like literally beating the ever loving shit out of her. But I could have just like pick and chose. But um yeah, I don't know. It sounded like he did slap the shit out of her, and then he did, in in my eyes, I guess, I think that he punched her twice. Maybe, I mean... But I I don't know. Alright, hold on. I I'll be back once I guess calling me. You can bring us on in. Wait, just bring him in. Just um, tell him to join. I'll be quiet. I'll listen. Why is it okay to downplay the violence? Because I give a lot of credit to people that are in a defensive scenario versus an offensive scenario. If you start, and I mean, I'm fairly sure I'm pretty consistent with this. If you go back to any of my mistakes, if you're the person starting shit, I'm often very, very, very unsympathetic towards you compared to the person that's like ending shit. Very rarely am I gonna be, I mean, you can go back to previous things here have been inconsistent, but like, I feel like I'm pretty consistent at that. If you're the one that's gonna start shit um, and you continue to start shit over and over again, I just very, very little sympathy for you. I gave him rolls, so he can join. Destiny, that's right, you took Richard Lewis' side with Loda. Oh yeah, and I'll continue to do that, even though Richard Lewis has swapped all of his positions. Yeah, I had no sympathy for Loda, because Loda was starting oh, shit on shit. fucking Twitter, okay. and Loda fucking showed up at fucking, it, right at backstage like he wanted to. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, sure. I didn't realize I could just join the, the yeah, Destiny yeah, what's got like rolls. What's up, buddy? What's going on, guys? Nothing much. How you doing? PUBG. 
Yeah, I, I hear. Uh, are we are we canceling Fortnite, boys? It's uh, it's causing uh, it's causing problems. I hear. I thought he had a shitty take, Asan, but it seems like he's got a pretty deep take. <laughs> what do you what do you want, Asan? Maybe I have a shitty take. Okay, was hot. okay well, zone. I only saw the memes thus far. Okay, That's what I saw. I've only seen the memes. Go, go, go. The memes are spicy. I thought they were funny, and then I heard that Destiny was just fucking banning. Just nuking people. Yep. Just if you're them. somebody yeah, that makes excuses for women and acting domestic violence on men, that's a, ugh, that's an easy instant ban. Easy instant ban. Oof. Okay. Well, I I have personal experience in this uh in this issue, and I, I and I believe you do as well, right, Destiny? Yep. Yeah. Uh, my situation is a little different. Um, I uh, I used this is the similar argument that I used on the Raj Patel podcast as well. Where I said size is is very important, and that uh, my ex girlfriend, like one of my first ever girlfriends, I lived with her for uh, one and a half, two years. Uh, she was physically abusive, and I found ways to deescalate that without ever putting my hands on her. How? And part of that was because I was much how? larger than how? she is. Um, one dude, it's really embarrassing, but I would just fucking crawl up in a ball. You know what I mean? I, I'm gonna be honest. Like I, it's. It, it, it was so the guy should have just crawled up in a ball and let her and than, let her like beat the sh okay yeah no fuck that shit <laughs> yeah no i i, I no. thought that i mean that was part of the reason why i i, I broke up with her right and okay so and, let's say that like what's okay. up go on i mean like let's say that a guy was coming onto a woman and it looked like fuck i'm coming over uh he's in love what one Sorry, second. We're playing Let me just kill this dude. Oh, you guys are playing PUBG. Let's say that a guy goes up to a woman and he's about to like murder rape her. Would you think that the woman should just like get like on her knees or whatever and just let the guy rape her and then it'll that's an okay way to deal with that situation? To de escalate well, the situation? Murder rape is not the same as, as uh, a domestic abuse in a, in a sure, loving relationship. Sure, it's not the same. That's otherwise but toxic. like the, the fact that you would tell the guy that he needs to just lay there and take it. I mean, like, sounds really dumb. Also, the woman can do some real damage to the guy. Like, I don't know why sure. you... Like, she could get a weapon. She could hit him in the fucking face or, like, the eye or some shit or, like, kick him in the fucking nuts or something. Like, it's not like sh she's, like, incapable of doing damage just because the, the guy is bigger than her. I didn't say she's incapable of doing damage. My point is... My point is, in that instance, if she is not... Like, if she is not using a blunt object that is... That could genuinely cause harm, like, physical... And, and that has happened to me as well. And in that instance, like I've, I've blocked the object to rather than like attack her or rather than ever lay hands on her. Um, but unless it's like a massive fucking thing. Okay, and then what do you do? Like you just sit there and you let her beat object, you? You just sit there and let, let her beat you over no, and over you again? No, you shut off the game and you fucking de-escalate the situation because I think you and I would probably both agree that what she wants in that instance is attention and she's also and she's also pregnant and she's emotional she's carrying your child not to appeal to emotion here but okay i think that's a big uh, that would that would be a, a an additional no-no on top of the the physical differences between uh the female and the male in that instance sure the fact so that she that's is possible but like what you're essentially saying is that she is using physical violence and intimidation to get her way to force him to have a conversation that he may not want to have in order to de-escalate a situation. Like, yeah, I, I'm almost again, more in favor of saying the guy is, is more in the, the right to fight her than to fucking sit there and entertain the conversation. She has no yes, fucking right uh, to uh, use physical violence to demand it. one of the outcomes is having a conversation. The other outcome is you literally beat the shit out of your uh, pregnant, you slap the shit out of your pregnant wife so hard that you get fucking banned off uh, Twitch and you can no longer stream Fortnite and you, you can also get banned off Twitch for anything. Oh, he didn't? No, I no, mean, no, didn't. but you can literally get banned off Twitch for like. I just don't understand how. I, I mean, like, I feel like, and I can't truly know this, and I know nobody will agree for argument's sake, so but, like, I feel like nobody would ever make this argument for a woman. That, like, if the man is beating the shit out of you, okay, just sit there and have the talk with him. Like, you don't have a right to fight back or to attack him. Like, just sit there and talk with him, and then maybe all he wants is a conversation or a thing. Like, all, everything you're saying is, like, abuse apologia, like, 101. Like, everybody uses the same type of rhetoric to defend abusers. Hit him twice. I'm not defending her. I think I think that this is a toxic relationship relationship where she is absolutely being abusive as well. 100%. I'm not saying that at all. But ultimately, um, in 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 instances where there is like police brutality or whatever, I always cover it in the same framework. It's like 
is there there's always a way to de-escalate conflict in an effort not to use disproportionate force and a police officer of course has like much more well, like, force yeah there's a difference force, yeah there's perhaps. a difference because police officers sign up for that job like that's part of their training and that's part of what they do i don't think it's right to say that like a guy has the same responsibility or a person in a relationship has the same responsibility as a police officer like no 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 it's not the same responsibility i'm just saying that in both instances there is there is a a uh, like obviously if a police officer is physical like confrontational physical is entirely different. I'm talking about a disproportionate use of force. If the power, if the powerful party, if the more powerful party in that instance has the, uh, it always has the responsibility to de-escalate. That is my perspective in this. And I think that in this instance, um, while she is certainly being emotional or she is being hysterical, she's throwing like okay, a yeah, wait, wait, real quick, real quick, real quick. She's not being her emotional sticker. She is being abusive. She is enacting domestic abuse, okay? I, I don't necessarily disagree with you on that. I, wait, I think that she is being. Wait, why do you say it like that? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't disagree with you on it. She okay, is. Okay, what do you abusive. mean? But like, again, if this was a guy throwing things at a girl, you would never say. I don't necessarily disagree that he was. You okay. would immediately. No, no, no. Say, like, All right, okay. sure, sure. Don't get caught up on the way I said it. Sure, you're. I'm using California speak. You'll get used to it when you move out here. <laughs> this is how fucking people speak in a wishy-washy way. Sure, I agree with you. She is being back. abusive. Okay. Um, but in the, in, even, even if she was, even if we inferred, and I heard you were apparently saying that, like, those were crocodile tears or whatever. Oh, and yeah. I think that's a little bit of a personal, um, that's a little bit of maybe a personal bias that, that, like, For her to cry? She did there. it three different times where she was like, ah! And then less than 15 seconds later, she was back escalating again. Th three yeah. different times she did that. Again, the alternate, the, there are two possible outcomes here, okay? So what, what this person chose was the worst possible outcome. The worst possible outcome is you you hit her. Sure. The best I, possible well, outcome no, 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 no. The you worst... turn off the game. Oh, sure. Okay. You so... turn off the game and you give her the attention that, that she's wanting. Now, no, that's not, if no, that is, that's if, not even if that, an option. Over a long enough no, timeline, if that becomes a constant option. thing, you, you don't date her. I mean, that's you, you, not you even break an up. option. The best possible scenario is him leaving and then fucking calling the cops. The idea that the responsibility is on him to give in to an abuser like that is so fucked up. Oh, uh, Mr. Moon, uh, 58, 60? Yeah, him, yep. Yeah. Hit him once, twice. Okay. 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 Um, again, like I said, I only get them once. Even if she's being abusive in that instance, the power, the party that holds more power, is obviously the non-pregnant male uh, party there. So you keep saying uh, more power, wanna, like it's going to be a role reversal and a female. If you want to do role reversal, and in this hypothetical, there the, the female streamer is like much larger and much more physical than, let's say, we, we need Down. to give the guy a male Online. a handicap in Careful. that instance. Right? Uh, let's say that the, the, the husband in that instance Fuck, is being abusive in a similar fashion. But he is much smaller, and also beyond that, he's also somehow handicapped. Go, go, go. Uh, and yeah. if he does that, and she beats him, then then I would say that the female in that instance is wrong. But the like, thing I, is, is I, that, like, the, my point is... I don't think the well, guy is ever beating her, or like, like, he slaps her, which is wrong, but it's not like he's escalating to some insane level of physical violence. Like he slaps her and then leaves every time. This idea I know, but that he's like still, beating dude, the shit out like of her. Like I said, we have different perspective on how to deal with domestic abuse in that instance. Then because I, like I said, and even from my, even from my personal experience, uh, being a, a victim in this instance in a similar fashion, have have never used force because I understand that I'm larger than the other person. You know what I mean? Uh, not only do I understand. And there have certainly been, I'll be perfectly honest with you, man. There have certainly been instances where I'm like, I really want to fucking hit back. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit. Like, the way the way she's hurting me right now, both emotionally and physically, is awful. And I really want to fucking... I, I, and I've, I've, I've punched the, um, the... Like, there's a hole in the interior of my car. Um, in the... Uh, where you put your arm. Because I fucking... I, I had to channel that anger somewhere. And I and I, like when she was hurt, when she was literally hitting me, I had to stop it somehow. And I hit like there's still a fucking hole where I put my arm, where I drive. Uh, Why would my hitting car. a wall stop somebody from being physically abusive to you? Because I'm saying you had because, to channel his anger out. Because I'm I, I'm saying I had to channel my anger to something different. Okay. And what I'm trying to say is, it's 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 much better 
to to do that. But that doesn't always to, work. Because, because part of me when also I moved out of my last house, I had to get my uncle to patch up holes all over the place. That shit never worked for de-escalating anything. Putting a hole okay, in the wall the didn't I, make the anybody stop. The point I was going to make beyond that is, if I ever were to direct that channel in a physical way to towards her, then also beyond like physically hurting this other person who is uh, who doesn't have the same kind of uh, uh, who doesn't have the same amount of muscle mass that I do. But also beyond that, there's like the the legal implications. Like I could literally, that's 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 something that I've yeah, had. We're not in talking my about mind. the legal. I understand the legal, and the legal guys always get fucked in this circumstance. But we're not talking about the legal here. Well, again, if we're talking about the, even if we're not talking about the legal one, it, and and the reason why the legal in the legal realm, the reason why the guys get fucked, I guess, uh, more often than not, is because they are physically uh, superior. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know if that's the only reason why, but... I mean, uh... Yeah, I mean... Oh, shit. We, we, I just got a big This hit. is like a Jordan Peterson argument, basically, but... It's not a Jordan Peterson argument. I do think it's fair to say there's a considerable amount of bias against, like... Fuck, I'm healing. Ah, and I just got a headshot. Against men in domestic abuse situations, like... Anyway, um... In the end of the day, she threw stuff at him, right? She threw a cardboard box, I think, or whatever. She threw multiple objects at him, was rattling and trying to break shit on his desk, and looked like she was trying to get in his face to be physically abusive. You can't see that as much, but okay. Okay. Um. So that's, yeah. That I mean, it's bad, but there's two possible outcomes in that instance. You either reward her bad behavior, let's say, by stopping your game and having a conversation with her, or you... You get up and you slap her, and and obviously he did that, and that was the worst possible choice that he could have made. No, the worst and possible choice really would have been to actually beat the shit out of her. That would have been the worst possible choice. It was to like make it lethal. The guy's choice was not optimal, and I agree that there were better things he could have done. I'm just super I mean, but, uncomfortable. Like, he still slapped her. Who you know what I mean? Who the fuck cares? It's a fucking slap. The fuck does it matter? Yeah, I don't know. I I again, I I think that. I think that it's still not good. You know? I never said it was I, I good, but when somebody else is instigating physical violence and escalating against you over and over and over and over and over and over again, like... I, I don't think you can say it's just a slap because then you could literally just say that it... Oh, well, I'm cares? saying it's like, just, just a slap. cardboard at him. Okay, right? I'm saying it's just a slap because people keep saying that he's beating the shit out of her, which is fucking so stupid. Which is wrong. I, I agree. It's so yeah. fucking stupid. Obviously, slaps I mean, her and he shouldn't be slapping her. Afterwards, so we don't necessarily know what's happening, right? Or did I misunderstand? Did I misinterpret what was going on? It doesn't look from the video from mine and his perspective. It sounds like that he's like beating the shit out of her. Like beating the shit out of her would mean that he's like literally wailing on her for like. Eh. I don't know. Or like slapping seconds. her when she's like on the ground or whatever. It yeah. sounds like what's happening is the guy who's going up to her, slapping her to get her to move back, and then when she does, he goes back to his computer, and then she comes back and starts fighting again. That's no, I'm sorry, that's not what looks like happening. That's what is happening. Well, I guess it's possible that he like slaps her loudly and then is like pinching her or doing something that I can't hear off camera. That's possible, sure. And everybody is saying that the cops said she was unharmed. And, and also, like, relevant, this is but. happening. Look, it, it, and by the way, the stakes are also raised incredibly. You have a child, you know this, like. Doing this in front of, uh, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. But everything you're about to say applies tenfold to the fucking woman. Like, no, I, I, I get it, I get it. She is. I'm not saying that she is completely blameless in this instance. She I'm is not saying. I'm not trying to say. Abusive. I'm saying that she is the main instigator here, and most of the fault lies with her here. You're saying that all the responsibility. Okay, cool. Well, wait. If you agree with that, then we don't disagree on anything. No, the disagreement here is that it's still wrong, even in that instance where she's instigating, even when she's instigating. I never said it was right for the guy to hit her back. I'm just saying that I understand the drive to do it, and I don't think it's fair to come down on him for not being a paragon of logic and reason when he's sitting there enduring domestic abuse from a woman that's screaming and throwing things at him. I mean... The, the alternate option there is so no, easy, No, I understand. Though, it's see? not it's easy. Like Why are you it's saying that? It's not even that? being the rational thing. It's not easy to have somebody that's screaming at you and abusing you just be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to remove my... After analyzing the possible outcomes of multiple situations, I'm going to remove myself from this situation. There's a reason why police officers it, and military it, people go to fucking game. training it's for this like, shit. 
It's, it's not it's a not game like when he... somebody's physically abusing you. What do you mean? No, I'm saying he's playing just a game. He could he could stop and handle the situation a lot better and use words uh, to, to de-escalate when her her perspective isn't to beat him up. Okay, she's and on her end, it's just... Up. She's trying to stop him to play for that game. Okay, and on her end, it's just dinner. She doesn't need to be domestically abusive because her husband isn't fucking going down to fucking dinner. Relocation to okay, safe zone but is again, and she's like, the one starting it, not him. Throwing a cardboard box at her, and he's she's not, being uh, dude. You're downplaying her violence again. You're downplaying her violence it, again. She's one. She's not just throwing a cardboard box. Two, throwing a folded cardboard box, somebody can hurt. Three, other things are being thrown off screen. Four, she's trying to break his shit. Five, she's getting in his face, looking like she's about to hit him. Like, why are you saying like you're doing the meme, dude? Like it was just a cardboard box. Like it's not that big of a deal. It wasn't that abusive. Like that's bullshit. I mean, like I said, uh, you're on the one hand. I feel like you're you're uh, you're you're inferring that she's being more violent uh, off camera, and you're also downplaying Wait. how violent he's being. When and am we I? We don't know. I, no, no, no. I will downplay his violence because he's not escalating. He tries to de-escalate throughout the entire fucking video. That's what he's doing ev almost I through mean, the entire video. It's the four. It's a four-minute video. And yeah. he's trying to de-escalate up until 0 0.54 when he gets up and he slaps nope, her, okay? because every time he slaps her, he goes and he sits back down. And then she comes back and the situation is de-escalated and, he, and she know, comes back and not, escalates once again. Slapped, once you get slapped, that's not de-escalation. You've escalated it, it by by also retaliating in a violent way. Yes. But, so, but, again, but past, going back to the no, police no, 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 analogy, you're going like, back to no, any no, analogy where like you have more It's not like a power. video game. This isn't a video game where you've got aggro timers, okay? When he sat down, the the situation is clearly de-escalated. Once he sat down. For her to run back and start fighting once again afterwards, that is a re-escalation 100%, okay? If I'm at recess... I, by the way, I still think the first slap is bad, too. Like, sure, I, that's I don't fine, okay? If I'm at recess and some kid walks up to me and kicks me in the shin and I kick him back right afterwards then that's fine but if he kicks me in the shin and then we go inside and then it like fucking in like gym I kick him in the shin again I can't say oh well he escalated earlier so now it's okay to do it again that doesn't make sense that's not how escalation works on the works. one hand you you you're you're protecting the uh, the the you're protecting Mr. Deadmoth from from not being uh, rational. Yes. But on the other hand, you assume that the the woman in that uh, position who just got fucking slapped uh, from from throwing cardboard boxes to a slap, Please she all of a sudden different. has to be rational and like back away and She's go. Well, I just got it. slapped, no. so I'll just walk away from the situation she... now. I'll just go Wait, and cook no. dinner. I guess she is starting it. Of course, I'm gonna put more on her because I don't treat women like fucking kids. She started the fucking domestic abuse. Of course, I'm gonna say that she was acting horribly in the in the beginning. Trade me armor, Abner. Um, fuck. Yeah. Level two. Yeah, um, again. Like, she keeps, after he is, would you agree that when he is sitting down and she is several feet away from him, that the situation is de-escalated? Or do you think that, like, the situation is still, like, the same level of escalation? Like, he literally sits down, puts on his headphones, and is like, oh, fuck, and is, like, playing the game again, and then she comes back and hits yeah, him again. Yeah, because he's the not... one who slapped her, so he thinks, like, okay, it's <laughs> Just because he thinks the situation, he thinks he handled the situation appropriately by slapping her, I don't which know already that's implies different. that that's not good. Uh, that that there's probably more going on. If we're gonna infer anything, it's probably that if he's able to do this in front of the camera, holy fuck, I don't even want to know what he's doing behind the camera. Same thing okay? for the woman. If she's just casually, she's doing if she's camera. just casually throwing shit at him, yeah, you better fucking believe that she's been doing okay, some fucking horrible shit too. It's, abusive, it's certainly an abusive, uh, toxic relationship. <laughs> My point is that that once he fucking slaps, and, and this is an ongoing issue, once he fucking slaps his wife, his pregnant wife, I don't think that that's gonna like him so what's sitting the back time? Wait, down. So what's the timer? Wait, no, 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 wait. He doesn't know what yeah, the fuck sure. he's doing. So Hassan, so what's the timer? What is the aggro timer on pregnant women? If you hit a pregnant woman, how long? Um, how long I mean, are they I allowed wouldn't. to hit you? That's back? my point. No, no, I would but never I'm curious. I want to know what the aggro Unless timer has, like, is. I'm just curious. I need to know the mechanics when I do the next random. fucking raid on pregnant women. I need to know what the mechanics are. So if you hit a pregnant woman, how long is it going to be escalated to where she can hit you back? I'm just curious. I just want to know the. Don't do it. No, unless no, it's but, a I, but if it happens, lady, and but she's if it gonna happens, kill you with a gun. If it happens, I'm just curious how long of a timer she has where she can just come full on back and it doesn't count as escalation again. Well, again, uh, I would turn off the computer 
if she was throwing stuff at me, I would turn off the computer and and approach it in a rational way. That's what I would do. And I agree. Uh, I, not, now, but you might not do in, this. People who are in domestic is, abuse scenarios is, like, aren't always acting like rational agents. I mean, we've both been in uh, – maybe yours is the, a little different, but we've both been in uh, abusive relationships, and I'm telling you what I have done. Yeah, you're telling um, me that you curl into a fucking ball. Yeah, that's – it's really fucking – yeah, it's, it's okay. certainly that's not fine. I the, mean, like, again, if that's how you think that, moment, Sure, if yeah. that's how you think men should respond to domestic abuse situations is they should curl into a ball and then let a woman beat them with whatever fucking shit she can find, that's cool if that's your take. I don't like that take, but – I mean, it's not always, by the way, it's not always, I'm not always fucking curling to a ball. Holy shit. He curls like, into a ball at anything. <laughs> yeah, just I, I just curl into a ball at any, anytime someone attacks me, I, I, I curl into a ball. <laughs> no, look, um, all jokes aside, like, sure, there's been many different, there have been many different scenarios. And, and the last one I can remember where, uh, where she literally like tried to fucking rip my throat out with her nails. Um, I, I, I avoided it by, like I said, I avoided it by trying to fucking uh, make sure that she couldn't hit me anywhere, uh, like anywhere that would do a lot of damage. And the reason why I did that, and my fucking roommate was there too, and the reason why I did that is because partially I was like, holy shit, if I do anything back, if I if I hit her, I'm six foot four, 235 pounds. She's 5'11", but she's like fucking 90 pounds soaking wet. That's a bad situation. She's gonna be very, and then even beyond that, if the cops come here, who are they fucking arresting? That was what was going on in my mind. You realize Where, that when you hit somebody, it's arrest? not like the, the, you the have to like Muslim use guy? like your maximum uh, power. Hassan, or are they going like, to arrest the fucking nice, uh, uh, beautiful uh, blonde girl? I don't know if maybe you've read too many times of the Odyssey where Hercules like accidentally like, breaks shit because he's like fucking so powerful. But like it's possible to hit somebody without literally using 100% of your fucking force to do it. Like well, I don't no, know. I've, I've hit a lot of people, Destiny. I'm yeah. So wait. You, so why are you I saying like, well, I'm 240 pounds? Like if you hit her one time you like cave in her fucking skull like why are you I saying this that to someone who's much smaller than me and i certainly wouldn't do that to a pregnant woman and that's my point okay do you see what i'm saying and i and i don't think i don't think anyone Does the fact that she's pregnant like matter no 100 percent, 1000 oh, really is it like the same thing it's just like you're hitting a smaller person if anything dude, it makes it even worse no, on her that dude, she would do that while what? she's pregnant I'm no, sorry, it's not the Odyssey. I don't know. Or is it in the Odyssey? Who was the one where it would accidentally no, break no, shit all the time because he was so strong? It was either Odysseus or it was Hercules in some oh, other no. fucking book. I don't remember. Oh no, Mr. Mooten. The, the, know, the, fact that, the fact that, that, that she's pregnant makes it, in my mind, much worse. It is I agree. It makes it way worse on the woman. That she would be pregnant and starting fucking fights like that and shit. I totally agree. I agree with you on that one, Hassan. Yeah, like, and also, <laughs> I think that... Uh, look, I think that the fact I didn't even hear what you said. That's oh, there's because it's, it's on the woman now because she's pregnant. Why the fuck would she start fights when she's pregnant? Oh my god, this is like I the agree fucking, with you. This is like the why are the immigrants oh bringing their fuck, children? Shit, to I might agree with argument, Steve dude, now. Literally, if they care about the safety and well-being of their children, like why are they bringing them over the border? Except like, they're escaping a scenario. The what? Oh, so you're saying that the woman has the same prerogative, has the same motivation to beat her fucking boyfriend as somebody trying to escape a fucked up country? Jesus like, dude, you're terrible, giving so dude. She's probably fucking emotional. She's probably got hormones. Like, dude, the, you're. The, the, uh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, dude. No, come on, man. I'm not gonna buy this. Like, you're treating her like a fucking kid. Like, you're literally. This yeah, is like. Yeah, I am. I am. Okay, sure. yeah. I don't do that I, with I, women because I. I don't know. Maybe it's like a. Maybe I'm too much of a feminist i guess yeah i'm calling <laughs> i'm trying to block the shots okay? um yeah but no i don't i don't agree with this treating women like fucking infants and saying that they can beat the shit out of men because they're too dumb or small or stupid to make their own decisions i totally reject i'm not that. saying they're dumb or that's small what you just or said stupid to make their own you said decisions. that you I'm said that, that oh, she's well, you hormonal. said hormonal you said she's... hormonal you're literally using fucking hormones to excuse domestic violence what if i want to be a power no, lifter uh, and yeah, i start shooting up fucking roids if i'm roiding and i beat the shit out of my fucking woman does that make it okay what she did in that instance does not justify getting fucking slapped in the face. Wait, dog. but it was domestic violence. Wait, 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 it was wait, wait. domestic was she, violence. Was, was she enacting what, domestic no, violence on the guy? Throwing a cardboard box is, does not justify oh, no, no, what no, he no. did. I'm not saying she was justify. being abusive. Sure, was it, she was so wait, certainly being what she abusive, was doing was a domestic he's the violence. Who was escalating it, and now she's uh, mm -hmm. actually committing I don't know if she escalated violence. it. She escalated it to physical violence. I mean, he was physically she violent too. She escalated it, but... and then he, instead of de-escalating, escalated it even he further. He was trying to de-escalate the entire time. He's telling her to stop and go away over 
and over Dude, and over and over again. He slapped her at, at 50, minute 54. And I mean, then he uh, sat back down. Second 54 is when he slapped her. Like, <laughs> hard Wait, enough to get here. Hassan, you don't agree that he's trying to de escalate when he sits back down after slapping her? I agree that and he says, stop, 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 stop. Uh, I, did, like, I wish I had a video of a girl. I wish I had a video of a girl sitting in a chair going, stop, please stop, please stop. And a guy just throwing shit up. And I'm curious sure, if you would, would have the would same take. I, I, I want to hear if the take would be the same. Oh my God, dude. I mean, obviously it would be different, right? It would be so fucking different. People would 180, 100%. Very loud. Let me just let me just readjust the audio for some reason it's like making it's you really loud. Okay. Go on. Sorry, what were you saying? If a woman was sitting at a chair going, Stop, stop, please stop, please stop, and a guy was just throwing shit at her over and over again, your take would be one eighty on this. It would be totally in the opposite direction. That the girl is trying okay, to de-escalate by asking. Entirely different situation, by the way, but the point is you're not How is that entirely different? You're not How is that entirely different? You're not How is that entirely different? You're not focusing on the de-escalation. No, slapping is not a de slapping is an escalation. It's no. not a de-escalation. Everything he did leading up, everything he did leading up to the slap was everything he did leading up to the slap was de-escalation. Everything he did and after it didn't that work. is violent and it's escalation. No, because after he slaps her once, he sits down and he goes back to being verbal. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. After he said, we can watch the video if you want, or you can go watch it again on your channel. Every time he sits down, yeah. he puts on his headphones yeah, he and he says, stop, her. please Why stop. Why do you expect her to be even more rational after she was behaving in an irrational way already? I don't care about whether or not blah, 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 because she's already started it. She's the instigator. Okay, but like, but you have to understand that. E let's say there's a there's a fight, right? And you're trying to de-escalate it, and someone like, starts the fight. You're trying to de-escalate. You fight back. In that instance, you're all. You're, it's a fight now. Like, if both parties are both parties are now at fault. That's and not. Where is Apple is at? I'm like 99% sure that this is not true. That even from a legal sense, if somebody is attacking you and fighting you, and you fight back, like that's okay. But if somebody like attacks you and then turns around and walks away, and you attack them, even if only like 10 seconds has passed, that doesn't count as self-defense anymore. You can't fly that shit. That like 15 seconds after, when the person is chilled, and then you attack them again, that it's still self-defense. I'm like 99% sure that this does not fly as self-defense. It's like a really fucking stupid way of looking at it. That like you're you're literally treating them like an NPC with an aggro timer that when you hit someone they've got 30 seconds to attack back before the timer expires okay again <laughs> we're 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 moving away from the original perspective that the person who is physically superior in that instance is still at fault and has the responsibility to not fucking uh, escalate the violence and in, in, instead of doing that, instead of closing the fucking video game, which is a very simple, which is a very simple choice, he chose the worst possible outcome. The worst possible outcome being getting up and slapping his pregnant wife. That is my problem. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you like, keep saying worst possible outcome, but it wasn't the worst possible outcome. Um, there are the many. The worst possible more... outcome would have been him murdering her. I well, guess. no, the okay. worst possible outcome would have been him escalating to like lethal shit. Would have been like yeah, okay that's why i said murdering well it doesn't like, necessarily have to be murdering but like punching her or getting into like a fucking wrestling match would be like worst case shit there's a there's a world of difference between that and slapping her um but yeah i mean i do agree that he could have acted better i'm just really uncomfortable ascribing like hyper agency to somebody that is undergoing like domestic abuse that's like really difficult for me to do and if it was a woman all of us would be saying the exact same thing but because it's a man we don't Every People single time, every single punched her, by the way. I don't know if we no, had, no, no. Police report said there was no damage done, but even so, like looking at the video, it doesn't look like he actually punched her. He winds up for some slaps, but um, but I mean, we can Wait, go by the so police. Wh uh, where is the police report? Because I, I would, I don't to fucking know. Somebody yeah. can link it in chat if somebody has it. People are saying that he was arrested, but that she was unharmed. Okay. But, like, the idea that we're sitting here saying that, like, oh, well, you know, even though the guy's being abused, like, um, you know, he should reward her behavior, he should just get off the computer, blah, 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 blah. Like, I mean, sure, but, like, you would never ascribe that level of agency to, uh, to a woman undergoing that type of physical and mental abuse at that point in time either. Okay, wait, someone just sent me the police report, sorry. Alleged DV assault, live stream, man charged by Camden PAC. Officers in the Camden Police Area Command were contacted after a witness reported the alleged assault of a 21-year-old woman believed to have been live streamed about 8.30 p.m. Police attended a home in Franklin Grove or in Park about 11.30 and arrested the 26-year-old man. He was taken to Narellan Police Station where he was charged with common assault. He was granted conditional bail to appear in the Camden local court. Two girls aged 3 and 20 months were at home at the time. While the woman was not seriously injured, she was distressed and shaken by the incident. Okay, so the fact that she's not seriously injured is, is why you're asserting that he 
Um, I'm pretty sure it, that right? if there would have been cuts or bruises or like a black eye, that that would have been notated in the police report. I'm like 85% sure of that. Okay. That there's I, no I way you leave that out. Okay. Regardless, um, like I said, from the top to the fucking bottom, my point still stands. Like in that instance, getting up instead of fucking turning off your computer, getting up and fucking hitting her rather than just shutting off your fucking game of Fortnite that you're streaming to like nine people anyway. Um, and, and, and trying to de-escalate, like actually de-escalate, rather than slapper, which is not a de-escalation tactic, is Black the out. thing that he should have done, and is the thing that I would have done, and is the thing that I hope most men would do. Okay, I don't think do you agree with the idea that women need to fuck off and like learn their place in the house in general instead of like trying to be like breadwinners or going to school? Can you agree with that then? Or Because if I'm going to have to concede every single instance of my life to a woman being abusive and hormonal and all that shit, then why the fuck would we grant them any? Like this is literally what incels talk about. Like you're literally doing this meme where like all women are queens and can do nothing wrong and blah, 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 blah. No, but then any I, I'm not that's saying that all women are queens what, like, and can do nothing wrong. When Don't you say, man, when you say the fray, when you say the phrase and you unironically sit here and tell me that you know one way you can deal with it is to curl in a ball and take it dude i would get fucking so no, much no i said that if that I, was what i all be an embarrassing you, but, but you and even, personal moment but you that even, is what i have done in that you one even, instance rather than fact, hurt someone back the fact that you even seriously suggested that in the conversation is so telling of like the difference in responsibility that you're assigning both parties here like even as a joke i would never suggest to him like well hey you know when i got abused once i just kind of like dude i wasn't i wasn't suggesting that he do that in this instant dude I, I i didn't say that this is what he should be doing in that instant i'm saying that he should be just shutting off his fucking computer and talking to this person and de-escalating it in the best possible way rather than fucking slapping her well, because we obviously both saw for that getting up and, and, and slapping her did Bonus not work in de-escalation. He top. thought Potential that it worked in de-escalation and so he sa sat back down and it obviously Well, didn't. I mean, it kind of did. When he slapped her, she stopped throwing shit and shit fucking chilled yeah, out for a second. she was probably fucking shocked that she just got slapped in the fucking face. Wow, she got over that shock in like fucking literally five seconds. <laughs> What, I mean, I'm you... saying, like, the blowback, and then she continued, yes. That's In literally point. ten seconds, like, three times. It must not have been that shocking. Like... I, I mean, dude. Come on, dude. Wait, like, what do you mean? Now we're, now we're, now we're, now we're, now we're asserting, like, what her fucking blowback time is, you know what I mean? Like, it, we're, we're trying to figure out if she could have, like, taken the, the, the slap and, and... And retaliated like there's a lot of you're making it sound like she's like you're making it sound like she was literally shaking but like she literally was back at it like at full force like five or ten seconds later i mean dude yeah she got hit in the fucking face what do you mean like what do she was already hysterical she was already angry maybe for for okay she's abusive she's in an abusive relationship she's already abusive she's already throwing stuff she gets fucking slapped in the face when her request in her mind is an extremely reasonable one and i happen to agree with her as her as a pregnant wife in that instance asking can you turn off the fucking game so we can have dinner i cook dinner or whatever the fuck she was talking about and then getting up Okay, and and, and 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 like throwing a cardboard box, getting hit in the face in retaliation, which in her mind obviously was not the proper response. When the only when the response is okay, I'll shut the game off. I know that she's being unreasonable, but like he took the nuclear off, and 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 she continued to get even more hysterical at that end. Okay, I I think I don't think we're ever gonna get this, but I I mean I understand your point, but. But we're definitely never. Okay, people in my chat are getting mad at me for using the word hysterical. Okay. Well, because you are no, no, no. You're using it to hand wave all over. Like whether I know that I'm not. I know that I know. I know you keep saying you're not, and I know you keep saying I know you keep saying I'm striving you. But the words you're using are so powerfully indicative of your underlying mindset that like it's really hard for me to actually listen to the argument you're trying to make. Like you are constantly making excuses for her. She's hysterical. She's pregnant. Her request was reasonable. You keep making these excuses for her behavior because I believe I I genuinely believe that. While she was being abusive, her ultimate request, regardless of her methods, was a reasonable request. That is why I'm saying... Just because you make a reasonable request doesn't mean you would ever say the request was reasonable, and that's why the physical violence fucking happened. Why not? I'm not saying... Look, it, it, her... 
her original request, and we don't know how fucking long the, the request extended before she started <laughs> growing <laughs> stuff. Yeah, stop. Even with what you just said, how long do you have to ask somebody to come to dinner before you can start fucking throwing shit at them? Why would you even say that? I mean... I'm not saying like, I'm not everything you say is indicative. No, 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 you are. But I, I, I'm confused. Like everything you say is making it sound like she had a right. Like, well, maybe she asked like if she asked him to come to dinner two hours ago. Does that mean it's OK that she started throwing shit at him? Like. <sighs> OK, uh, listen, I love you and I understand. The reason I just why don't I'm think we're going to agree. <laughs> the pregnant woman who got slapped by her fucking husband is because she's a pregnant woman who got slapped by her husband for throwing a cardboard box after asking her repeatedly to fucking shut the computer off and come to dinner. She's being abusive doesn't justify the use of force. I'm not That's saying my point. She's being abusive. I'm just, I, I'm not saying that like he's justified in here. I don't even know how I would ever use her justified in terms of self-defense. But what I'm saying is that she is instigating and it seems like nobody wants to describe her any responsibility. Look at how you keep saying, well, she's a pregnant woman. Like that excuses her being physically abusive. Or, or she just threw a cardboard no, box. She didn't. She threw, being, she threw okay. way more than just a cardboard box. You're hand waving the slap while making it seem as though she was being like super fucking aggro. She was with, being like, insanely a aggro. Box, she dude. threw more than a cardboard box. She threatened to break his shit and she was rattling shit around him and it looked like she was about to step up and take a hit. What do you mean? Why do you keep okay. saying she just threw a cardboard box? Okay. Um, I, I think the reason I your chat was getting upset with you, Asan, is because you were using pregnant and hormonal, making it like the woman doesn't have agency over herself. Like, she can't make those No, decisions. I think the fucking woman does have agency. That's why I said she's abusive. But beyond being abusive, I think her hormones in that instance could potentially make her even more fucking Which means rattled. she doesn't have, like, the... Oh, so, I mean... She's abusive, but it's still combining. It's making it even a, a, a more fucking... It's making it even a worse situation. That's fine, but I want to be able to use this take then. If I ever get into an argument with my girlfriend, I want to be able to say, listen, you're in your period. You're being hormonal right now. Chill out. I want to be able to say that then. If, if she being can use that excuse. Being on a period and being a, a, being a pregnant woman who's taking care of fucking two children with another one in your belly is not the same as just like, oh, you're just pregnant. There's like Whoa, a, I mean, hold I on. Just, uh, you're just, different uh, women uh, deal with being pregnant in different ways. It sounds like she is the caretaker, but it sounds like she doesn't make any money. So, I mean, yeah, she's taking care of two kids, but it sounds like he's the one that's earning what all the income make that she's not making any money does that justify the slap then? no like, I don't but you try to make it sound like well she's raising two kids so she's you know just fine being worried okay well he's the one making all the money for the household why would you bring that up that's so weird like that's so weird to bring that up like what why is that weird to bring up because she's you're making it sound taking like care of those two children while she's pregnant at the moment okay he's and playing. he's the one like, that's, that's earning all the making wait so because he's playing a game at that particular point in time like and also he's not even apparently he doesn't even make a living off of fortnite so it doesn't just, matter like, if he makes let's... a living he makes all the money for the household Wait, how do you know that? Because at one point in time, he said, I'm the one that pays all the bills, and she didn't say shit about it, so it's most likely true. It sounds like she's the one oh, that stays okay. at home and... I mean, it... regardless, like... Well, dude, I, I don't care. I don't... No, 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 like, I don't... I don't... I don't, I don't care. Fucking, no, no. You can't hit someone just because you pay the fucking bills. No, 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 while you're pregnant, you're still going to be stressed and overwhelmed regardless. You're not going to be like, oh my god, my just like he can't be fucking point. rational because he's getting a Literally barrage of cardboard boxes or whatever. She can't be fucking rational in that moment, with the possibly. And again, yeah. we're, 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 we're having this conversation and we're like, literally, uh, we're, we're uh, making a lot of, uh, yeah, we're making a lot of speculations here. But like, I'm speculating that... Just like you speculated that he can't be rational in that instance, I'm saying that maybe she can't be super rational when she's pregnant, already an abusive person in a toxic relationship, taking care of two children at that moment. It doesn't matter. She can't think like, oh, well, you know what? He's the one who's the primary breadwinner. So maybe I should just take this fucking slap and sit the fuck down. What do you mean? If she's taking the slap, it's because you're acting like he just slapped her out of fucking nowhere. I'm not saying, it doesn't have to be that he slapped her out of nowhere. The, the 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 use of force on his end is much higher than her throwing a fucking cardboard box and even even like hurting uh even hitting the fucking uh, uh what do you call it even hitting his fucking laptop or whatever that's my point like who cares that's it, it, that's damage to his capital okay it's like structural the structural violence versus like actual physical violence to this person's uh to to this uh, uh woman's face I love you, Hassan. We're never gonna agree on this, though. I'm just, um, I can't. I don't understand. Like, I, I, I legitimately don't understand. Like, well, I mean, I understand. You're just basically giving a million I excuses think you both to do a woman. Agree.
No, do, we definitely don't. Well, oh see, no, we definitely that, don't. Well, wait, wait, I view that to me, to me, that the man shouldn't have shouldn't have hit her. You probably agree with not. That, right? Maybe probably not. But I totally understand oh, yeah. why he did it, and I can I can totally see that point of view. If I were to okay. ascribe like blame in this situation, like ninety percent is going to the woman and ten percent is going to the guy. That's how <laughs> oh, I would view no, this. No. Okay. Whereas Hassan sounds like he's placing way more blame on the guy because men are oh, am, stoic, emotionless beings ask, that should be able to de-escalate. De well, he no, 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 no. Stop saying that. That's a lie. He did de-escalate multiple times and it failed. Oh, no, okay? he slapped her, dude. He told her to stop at least fifteen times in that video. So okay, you're, okay. So he but did he try to de-escalate. Doesn't matter. He did try to de-escalate and it didn't work. And then ultimately, I, I guess he did escalate. I'm not sure. I'm still not decided on that. If somebody is throwing shit at you and you walk up and hit them, I don't know if that counts as an escalation. Um, because arguably throwing shit at somebody can can be way worse. I mean, it really depends. I don't know, uh, but I'm not really comfortable even granting. We saw only the cardboard. Don't make assumptions on what else was being thrown because you don't know. We only saw the cardboard. Okay, maybe they have like. A... Firstly, I don't know why people keep saying it's only cardboard when it was a fucking folded box. Like, have you ever like frisbee <laughs> that shit at somebody's face? I mean, dude, it's still not as bad as a direct slap to yours. Like, she I don't know if that's true. It at him. She tossed it in the vicinity. No bullshit. She's obviously been throwing shit at him. She probably fucking missed. Like, wait, 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 wait. Now, okay, again, you're making a lot. You're speculating. You're okay, making a okay. lot. I of will admit. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. Okay. Well, hold on. You're right. I admit that I a am assuming folded box. I, I, admit, I admit I admit I admit I am assuming that when she's throwing things and he's flinching that she's throwing things at him now maybe she's not maybe she is tactically throwing things around him in order to instigate him, but she's not actually aiming at him <laughs> oh my god dude look listen I'll, I understand I'll concede I'll I'll will, concede. I will concede I will concede do I think that women do I think that when women are do I think that when women are violent a lot of times men are still uh, even if they are in a in an instance where they're they're uh, they're being abused uh, domestically, like even in the instance where I was, okay, uh, abused domestically, taking it is is not the. I mean, taking it exclusively because you know how people will treat you is bad. There is certainly a double standard there. I, I agree on that. I'm sure. But but again. It's still, you don't hit your fucking pregnant wife, dude. I just, that's, okay. It's so and simple. I concede, I concede you as well. Close, I'll concede a point to you as well. I understand. And I concede to you as well that women should literally be treated like four year old fucking dipshits that can't make any decisions on their own. If you're a pregnant woman, We're taking their voting. you literally, yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. You shouldn't be allowed to drive. You literally should be locked <laughs> in a fucking jail cell because you clearly that's can't make any decision. Like, okay? I agree, I agree with you. I concede right. that point. Women who are pregnant should be treated that's, like that fucking children. That was the children. point I was making. That's, yes. Okay. I was like, that's what Sean was saying. Wife also, you no longer can vote, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you. Okay? You can't drive either. Fuck them. Because okay. you're too hormonal. Everyone that's making fun of me for the fucking rolling up in a ball, I suggest. I didn't make fun of you for that. Me. No, I know. I, I, people in my chat, people in your chat, like. Dog, I'm fucking six foot four. No, 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 okay? no. Hold on. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to be clear. I'm not making fun of you. Like, as in, like, no, no, you're no, no, a no. I'm pussy. not saying you are. I'm not. I'm not. There's a hell of people that are like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Just curl up in a ball, ha. Huh? It's like all these fucking incel nerds over here, like, making fun of me as though, like, they've Fight been in a Hassan. situation that's similar. Like, yeah, no, I should have beat the shit out of my girlfriend, dude. You're right. No, no. I'm making. I'm sorry. I'm making fun of you for the curl up in a ball because if you curl up in a ball and someone wants to do damage to you, they can do a lot of fucking damage to you. That's why I'm making fun of you. To even suggest, yeah, what do you mean? Why, you, like, the fact that you even laugh at that. That was only like, once, dude. That was only one. Okay. I, I was using like, that as an even an extreme scenario okay. where, like, one way to fucking deal with that. In, okay. in an extreme All right. scenario. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I love you. So. <laughs> I just, listen, can't we just agree to disagree, brother? My Turkish friend. Down here. I'm, what, I need to heal. There's a straw pole. There's a straw pole going around. Oh my god! I only god. curled up in a ball. I'm going down there. Oh one. my god, okay, dude! Going There's down. no way. Ready? That's a new meme sign. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, someone hit that. Everybody, fucking smash those like buttons, bro. Oh my god. Nice job. At least I got the. At least I got to defend uh, not though hitting the pregnant women today. The the even though I, I, I already lost one battle. On women, but you defended their right to not vote. What? Means that <laughs> I said you defended their rights the to not vote as well, though. Just it's dumb just hands. madness, dude. Madness. <laughs> I agree. I thought this was a meme. I thought that most people were on board with the idea that women shouldn't be allowed to domestically abuse men and then make excuses for it. But I guess we're not I there yet. I don't think that women truly has the hottest take here, everybody. I'm gonna become the leader of the MRA 
face now, Hassan. You've moved me over. I'm moving even further to the right than I thought. I I made a journey to the left, oh my, and now I'm going to move. Goes? This is how it goes. catapulted him like a fucking fork okay. or megalil. The left's starting to catch on on YouTube. Steve's going to move to the right. There's a guy here with level 3 armor again. Nice. I love it. That was good. That super rifled up. Okay. Um... Wait, is it is it your birthday, Steve? Yeah, so happy birthday. Saying, I'm 30 years old today. Are you excited for me? You're a fucking old. You're Damn, a boomer dude. now. Boomer's in the chat. You're 100% a boomer. Oh my god, I got fucking wrecked by... Uh, no no wonder I got wrecked by Destiny's chat. Okay. Yeah, you got wrecked in this debate, son. Yeah, I fucking... This is like Raj Patel <laughs> flashbacks, dude. It's rigged because Mr. Mooton split the vote. Yeah, I know. What the fuck, dude? Shit, wait, so you agree with that Candace chick? Oh shit, women shouldn't vote, Hassan, you're right. Oh yeah, though, that was my point. I was, that that's fucking literally Candace the point I was, making. Literally I was brain dead as fuck. It. Holy shit. Um, I haven't seen yeah. people brain dead as that. I, I just think it's it's still it's still nuts to fucking to, to take this perspective, but... Nathan Boomer. Oh, I guess we have a difference in opinion I there. Know. It's pretty crazy to say that it's probably not okay <laughs> to domestically abuse men, but, you know, I like to take the extreme position sometimes. No, that's <laughs> not... You're it. fucking putting yeah, words that, in I my can't mouth, help it, dude. dude. I know it's on. crazy, but I... You know, I try to come, come out on. with the hottest That's of takes. That's not what I said. How you dare know. you think it's okay to abuse All right. me? Now we know. Now we know that the no-go zones for for Destiny. It's it's Nathan domestic Boomer, abuse, Nathan MRA Boomer, stuff, Nathan and it's Boomer, McDonald's. Nathan Boomer. Oh, the Candace girl was just hormonal. Fuck. My bad. That's what I was saying about the guy. I think that the best that case scenario, the best that case scenario, the should have been the guy retreating into a McDonald's because then she wouldn't have been able to attack him at all. Since we all know no, McDonald's. No, because the <laughs> Yep, exactly. Our management is ready for that. Yeah. So oh, all I forms can't of. I just got Mr. Moon. I thought you'd be on my side cheese. on this. It's I am pretty crazy. much on your side, but yeah, you okay. said some crazy things. Dude. You, can't, you don't think women should vote? That's fucked, son. Yeah, I mean, you know, I really lost the audience when I said women shouldn't be able to vote. Yeah. You're right. That was some crazy shit, dude. All right. Anyway. You're about to Jontron yourself. Okay. <laughs> oh, we have All to talk right, about well, that PewDiePie stuff at some point, okay? So maybe tomorrow. All day. right, we'll do that. We'll do that uh, tomorrow. Why wouldn't okay. Oh, you guys have a podcast tomorrow, right? You and D&D, too, yeah. Podcast, dude. All right, well, happy birthday, dude. All right, have fun, dude. And See Mr. Later. Mooton, dude. Mr. So Mooton. I'm so disappointed in you, dude. Uh, don't be, I dude. I believed in you, I'm brother. Just... I believed in you. I thought you'd be a woman Fuck, protector. I think you... Oh, no, it's not. I think you... I didn't think Steve had such a bad take, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. But I'm MIG Tau, so. Right. Me too, now, I think. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're guys. on our side. I'll see you. I doesn't think women should vote. It's 2018. Okay, seriously though, Destiny. do you kind More of like so like Destiny. I don't like to do no, this I, to people. I, but, but I, I, don't way, I don't like to do this to people because I know it's really mean. But I mean, like if people do it to me, I accept it. Like I feel like he used so many words and phrases that were like indicative of an underlying mindset that he didn't want to like fess up to. Do you understand? Like when he keeps saying he's like, well, she's pregnant, well, she's hormonal. When he like, said he's pregnant and hormonal and thinks like that pregnancy is a big difference in like the that like it's like people case. making excuses for why, is, um, because when i hear people excuses, say that yeah. it's the same thing as what what i what i hear is when people say like the man had a really stressful day at work well he was drunk he just had a few drinks um you know well the guy was really stressed out like it's the same type of excuses and like these are all true guys can have stressful days at work guys can be like super fucking stressed over bills and shit if they're like the breadwinner but that doesn't make it okay to domestically abuse your partner like you would if you would use a single excuse like this you would be fucking crucified in a conversation. If a man was like throwing shit at a woman and I would have tried to pull out the, um, somehow I didn't make it, I'm going into the main building. And I would have tried to pull out, well, okay, well he was really stressed at work that day. People would kill me for that take. But to say that, like, well, the woman is pregnant, yeah. so she's really hormonal. Like, okay, I can never use that to win an argument with a woman. If I were to, if I were to get into a fight with a woman and say, well, you're, you know, you're probably on your period. Like, dude, I would get crucified in that fight. That just escalates the and argument. Nobody, and nobody would take my side on that either. Nobody would say, you know, even though that's true, a lot of women do get, like, really hormonal and emotional in period. But, like, you don't say that because you don't want to invalidate everything they're saying. It's, like, a really, like, infant infantilizing thing or whatever. Sure, I mean, I even stuff. spoke up, like, about the hormonal and pregnant stuff, like... I think it kind of removes agency from the woman, um, and it semi makes it, in my opinion, sound like they can't like choose. Yeah, exactly. Like, that like they're too yeah. dumb or too much of a kid to like make or, responsible or too, decisions. Yeah, I mean I agree. Yeah. Overall, I think the take is that we all agree on: just don't hit people in a perfect world. But sometimes it's hard to make that decision. The correct decision. 
Um, we got to kill those guys. However, it did sound like you were starting to say that <laughs> the dude made the best decision. No, I don't think he did. The best would have been okay. to leave and then or whatever. But then the second best would be like the least amount of physical violence. Oh, do you see him run into the maze? Yo, do you want to creep through uh, the maze? Creep through yeah, the maze? Yeah, I see him right now. Oh, fuck. I... He's downed. Okay. His I'm just going to toss an aid. I'm yep. just tossing an aid. I well, just tossed an aid in. His friend ran in on the other side. I'm healing. I'm watching. Following. Fuck, I thought you had such a shitty take from like reading all the memes in chat. That's why I was like ready to destroy you, but then you did like your hour long like going through the video and it wasn't that bad. Well, the thing that irritated I thought you were me saying... was initially because I, when I when people said there was a full video, I thought maybe it made the guy look worse, but I feel like the full video made the woman look a million times fucking worse because like I assumed that it was literally just like a guy walking up to a woman and then like slapping the shit out of her for her just being like for her shouting at him a couple times. That's what I thought. But then when you watch I the thought... full video and you see her escalate like over and over and over and over again. I thought your take was like, um, "LOL, the woman threw a box. Like she deserved to get beat. Like that's how I. That's how far extreme I thought you were. But instead, you're saying like, um, like the woman did bad shit too, and like the man did obviously bad shit, but the woman probably escalated more. That seems to be your take, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's that terrible. If you're actually banned for this, fucking deplatform yourself. Either accept that your skin isn't as tough as you'd like people to believe, and tell people this something you don't want to talk about, which would be fine with every non-shitter. Feel free to be <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not so thick-skinned that I'll sit here and like let people be chill with like domestic abuse on men. Okay. One thing I'll say that I didn't, I I kind of agree with you. Um, in Circle Jerks, it sounds like you were saying that you didn't think that people still have these takes against men where like they don't believe that guys um getting domestically abused like it it is as seriously like it's taken as seriously as women um definitely not the fucking cases that i've seen and it's pretty so it's pretty disgusting that um guys still kind of get laughed at whenever they get like abused domestically yeah i guess i just seen like so many like random takes and videos on it recently i just kind of assumed that it was like something we'd all become I thought like, it was woke a to or whatever thing, yeah but i guess not i don't, I don't know and it really upsets me now because like I usually sh I shit on MRAs relentlessly because most men rights activists are fucking cancer. And like when I hear like an MRA crying about like oh like domestic abuse on men, it's like okay like everybody knows this is bad. Like stop acting like people don't agree with this. But it's like okay wow I guess maybe there are actually a lot of people that don't think it's an actual issue. Like Jesus fuck. I think they're uninformed of like yeah maybe maybe uninformed. I don't know. I don't know. Blackout. You guys seem to think- I'm sorry, I, I really can't tell like who's stupid or not in chat. Like, do you guys really think that I was laughing at Hassan because he curled in a ball and I was laughing because he was a victim? You realize I was laughing at him because the idea that you would tell a victim that they should just curl in a ball and be abused is like hilariously fucking stupid, right? That's why I was laughing. Not because he was a victim, but because he would suggest to other victims that they should well, just curl up in a ball and take it. Well, if you suggest that to a woman, you would literally get yeah. chastised, right? Like, no, just curl up in a ball and like take the beating from the man. Um, okay, I don't know. My intention was yeah, clear. Would... People are just fucking stupid or not. No. Yeah, if you told that to a woman, you would literally get fucking hung, probably. But I don't think Hassan was saying, like, um, like telling people to do that. I think he was just kind of saying Well, what he I know, did. but, like, again, like, when yeah. you bring that up as an example, like, if I was just, like, casually having a conversation and I was like, yeah, like, if you just, like, you know, like, one time I got in a fight with Rachel and I just, like, stabbed her Everyone in the eye and that stopped it. I'm not saying you should do it, but, situation. like... He was almost Definitely in a top 10 up. scenario in his game. But I don't Plus, say you should do pregnant, it. I'm just saying so that's something that I've done and it's B1. worked. Like, Dude showed restraint while outnumbered. Happy birthday. I think you're oh my misinterpreting God, I his post. I think he meant in that situation, he could curl up by basically complying, I, for example, turning off Fortnite, which would lead to the de-escalation most likely break. But you don't know that. That's the thing is that, one, you don't know that, that that's going to cause things to de-escalate. And also, you don't know that the girl's not going to do some serious harm to the guy when he's like that. And for you to just put that on Happy a victim birthday, is so but... fucked up. Like, that's literally the equivalent of me saying, like, if a guy is coming on you like that, just let him fucking rape you. Like, it'll be fine. He'll rape you, and then you'll get on with it. Like, you have no fucking idea, it, like, how far things are going to go. Like, or maybe not even rape. Maybe that's too extreme. But, like, if a guy's, like, feeling you up, just, like, let him grab your breast and then back off like and that'll be it he'll just grab your boob and back off and it'll be fine you don't know if he's going to take it farther than that like the fact that you would say that to a guy again is really fucking telling and i know this really triggers the fuck out of you when i see it but i think it's really under telling of your underlying mindset when you tell somebody that they should just endure some level of abuse and be okay with it like i would never expect i would just i don't know maybe i don't know i feel like it's a very human response
Like, I would expect most people to fight back if they're being actively abused. And for somebody, like, the only type of person that I would say could be abused and not immediately fa fight back is somebody that I would say has special training. So, somebody that um, is maybe in the military or somebody who's maybe in the police force. These are people that I would place that higher burden of uh, expectation on. I have very low expectations for the police. Well, I mean, I, no. Like, you wouldn't expect them to just randomly kill people like a normal person might because they should have training, right? Uh, I mean, they kill people a lot. When I say expectation... I know, I know. Okay, yeah. I, it's also interesting to me, like... Uh, hold on, I'm... S or, Happy on birthday, way. Destiny. Maybe pregnant women don't have autonomy because the baby is... controlling her like a mech pilot. So, really, she isn't assaulting him. It's his unborn kid and they're a minor. Ah, yeah, yeah, in chat. Love from Doonebug. Like, ah, yeah, yeah. I bring up my personal experience because I think it gives me some insight into, like, the emotional state of a person being abused. So that's why I bring it up. But I like how quickly everybody is to write it off as me being biased. Whereas, like, that shit would never fucking happen if it was a woman. If I was arguing with some woman about, like, rape or something, and she was like, okay, well, like, you know, I've experienced this. And I was like, okay, well, listen up, bitch, okay? Just because you've been fucking raped doesn't mean you know what it's like to be raped. Like, really. Like, you're, you're obviously, like, really biased here, right? People in chat would fucking flip shit at me. But a lot of people on my subreddit, mostly people that I ban, a lot of people on my subreddit, and you go back and read all the response to me are literally saying just that like oh well Destiny's just really biased here because he's been in this scenario like his opinion like basically shouldn't count or he's just holding a grudge because he's trying to justify his past abuse in this scenario like a lot of people are saying that shit it's very very interesting to me and I know that if again if you were to flip the gender roles most people would be incredibly fucking livid at somebody saying that if you were to flip the gender roles on this issue it would I mean it'd be completely yeah, fucking I think different so. but um yeah I think the goal is like work towards making it equal there's a dude Hassan brought on to wrap up talk with him that said exactly what you just said now, that you're just biased in your trauma. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Like, I, w I wish I could, like, hop into conversations where they're talking about a woman or whatever. Be like, this oh, dude, like, she just got raped, dungeon. so she's just real biased Bonus about this. Memory. Like, Happy you birthday. know, like, who's that woman, like, Ford or whatever? Maybe she was just abused in the past. Like, she's being too emotional. She's an emotional. Like, maybe she shouldn't talk about this. Like, I, like it's funny because, like, feels weird, man. Point underscore right. <laughs> For like um for like intersectional stuff and everything, right? Like it's really funny because like we come out with statements like um maybe white people should just shut up, um right? Remember the woman that said that and got in on a whole bunch of trouble? But the idea was that like you know minorities have unique experiences that they face and sometimes it's good to listen to their experiences instead of constantly trying to tell them what they should think about or something. So it's kind of funny to see like all of that reversed, I guess, when it's like a male abuse scenario. But you know that's okay. The thing is, is that like I don't like to bring up my case at all now, and I shouldn't have. I realize now that I shouldn't have because now I feel like my that's argument. Funny. Is perfectly 100% logical, uh, but like I, I think I shouldn't have brought out my personal thing at all. I didn't, I didn't think that people would use it to, to um, discredit me. That's why I don't usually like bringing up personal stuff. Left. It's because people, um, people will use it. Well, they're to gonna do the meme at you, right? They're gonna be like, "LOL, anecdotes, nice, Steve, like forehead." Yeah, sure, but I'm not, I'm not trying to use the anecdote to justify it. Just to say that I think I can understand the mindset. But I think all of my arguments hold up without any kind of anecdote at all. Um, they're on the top floor of that place, looking out. For I, you. I literally crashed. Let me listen. Okay, so here's the thing, and this is very serious. There are a lot of people that I forget oftentimes. There are a lot of people that I forget oftentimes that are genuinely fucking MRA. Like, that genuinely think that it's like male abuse. That this person that got hit with a fuck, this little baby that got hit with a fucking cardboard box Be is actually advised. the equivalent so of like him being expected. fucking domestically Relocate abused in zone. the same way that uh, he he d he slapped the shit out of his fuck. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, so, and okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, it's consistent with what I think he thinks. What do you have to say to convince people like Hassan? Um, how would that argument go? I don't know. I, f I would treat Hassan like a reasonable, logical person. I don't like the idea of treating Hassan like a child and telling stories. For a normal person, right, narratives are the way to go. But, I mean, I don't know. I would probably just try to argue with Hassan a lot about it. I think Hassan is reasonably intelligent. I say reasonably. That sounded really mean. I think Hassan is an intelligent guy. guy. Yeah, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't try to, like, condescend or figure out some trick to trick him into believing me. I don't think. I don't think that's fair to say. I think Hassan is intelligent. Now that you've come down, do you understand that even basic presumptions you have to make to maximize the wrong of the woman are a problem when your position is in its most reasonable and agreeable state? You shouldn't engage in any violence. Um, Happy no, birthday, I don't like buddy. to hand wave the woman engaging and re-engaging and escalating multiple times over and over and over again. So no, I don't agree with that. I don't think that both parties were wrong is like a flatly good way of putting it here. I think the woman was very clearly more in the wrong and was very clearly like engaging and escalating in domestic violence over and over again. And I don't think you have to make any assumptions to do that. You can just, it's all very clearly illustrated in the video, like full stop.
So no, I'm not gonna both sides this fucking man. Before I watched the whole video, I was against Destiny for the most part. I get his point now. Yeah, I mean she's she's a domestic abuser. It looks like very very standard like domestic abuse 101. You keep you keep escalating and attacking somebody over and over and over and over and over again to force a response. When they respond, you cry blah blah blah, and then you go back and you do it over and over and over again. It's also entirely possible that the guy gets physically abusive as well. The fact that he would go like straight to slapping her, like guy probably does it as well. I'm sure these guys fight a lot, um, but the woman is definitely 100% a, a physical uh, and domestic abuser, physical and emotional domestic abuser, Garen fucking team. The guy probably is too. I can't say for sure with the guy. Maybe he only does this when he's pushed to it, although even so, that's still pretty fucking bad. So, I mean, like, there's a really good chance the guy is, but the woman, 100% is a fucking piece of shit. Guaranteed. I think most people uh, make a huge distinction between hitting somebody with your hands and then hitting them with objects. No, they don't. No, you're lying. Um, you're, you're lying to yourself. You just haven't thought it through. Because if it was a girl sitting at a computer and it was a man throwing objects at her, then you would be just as mad. Um, the only reason why you're not mad is because it's a girl throwing objects at a guy, and then a guy hitting the girl. That's why you think it's worse. But the the this weird, this hilariously fucking stupid distinction of like throwing objects at somebody isn't really that bad. Hitting them is is just mind-numbingly fucking stupid. All right, so we're both going off the same five-minute-ish video, right? Yep. All right. So your position is that the woman is more f at fault than the man. Yep. All right. And why do you think this? Because the woman instigates physical violence and she escalates it multiple times, even after it's been de-escalated. How does he de-escalate the situation? Because he's back at his computer, sitting down in his chair with his headphones on, no longer attacking her or being violent. And then she comes back and she re-instigates physical violence and then escalates it to a physical point again. Okay, after he hits her for the first time, how does she instigate physical violence? Because after he hits her for the first time, they separate, he's sitting down, they're separated, she's standing at, I assume, a doorway, and they're no longer fighting each other or talking to each other. And then she comes back and she re-engages and then re-escalates to physical violence again. What does she do? Throw shit at him, threatens to break shit around him. Looks like she's about to hit him, although it's hard to tell from the video. Okay, so you're being awfully charitable to him, but not to her, no? No? What did I just say that was being charitable? She looks like she's about to hit him. You never see her in sight. That in okay, frame. first, first, she is absolutely throwing stuff. Second, she is absolutely breaking or threatening to break stuff. I only say, so we could even leave the threatening to hit behind. I only say that because it sounds like she's getting close to the mic and he raises his hands like he's blocking a blow. It's possible that she was just about to throw something else at him. So sure, but we can leave that. It doesn't change anything I've said. But go ahead. Okay. So do you think um, he escalated force unnecessarily originally? Um, I don't know. I would have to think about that a lot. I don't know if hitting someone is an escalation when someone else is throwing shit at you. Okay, does it matter what she's throwing at him at all? Kind of, but not really. I don't know what she's throwing at him, okay. but it sounds like things that are probably hurting. So if she hurting. was throwing, like, birthday balloons at him, is it okay to punch her? Um... No, but this take is like so hilariously fucking baby brand. I can't tell if you're ironically making it or just trying to do it to win the argument. It was pretty clear that she was no. trying to grab things and throw things at him to hurt him. I don't think she was grabbing well, birthday sure, balloons. Well, sure, the closest things to her, right? Sure. But you wouldn't say that cardboard is the equivalent of something like a lamp, right? I don't know. Like you're not gonna I get sent to the hospital. Wait, are you being serious right now? Th throwing folded up cardboard boxes at people fucking hurts. Go get somebody into a garage Wait, and fucking try no. it. The can you go? Can you please shut the fuck up, up and go try it before saying it doesn't? Like, this is a hilarious Black fucking out. first grade level take. First of all, throwing folded up fucking boxes at people does fucking hurt. Secondly, that's not the only thing that we saw, saw throw at him. Like, she's throwing shit that's hard enough to, like, wiggle the fucking camera and shit, and we hear stuff falling on the floor in the background. But if you want to pretend that the only thing she's throwing are balloons, Wait, he's, then... a, he's on the laptop. What do you mean? I don't know, there's like his fucking desk is wiggling and shit and like the camera's getting moved and shit, so like clearly there's more going on than her just lightly tossing things in his general direction. Well, could he also not just be moving the computer, the computer with his other hand? Okay, I, yeah, that's something I didn't consider. He could be shaking his computer and stuff with his own hand, I guess. He could be doing that, sure. Well, I mean like as he's knocking away the objects, I'm not saying to me it look, look more 
like dangerous than okay. it was. All I'm I know saying, is she's grabbing he, things she's in the room. The so she's grabbing things in, in the room and she's throwing shit at him. I guess it's possible that she's only picking up light objects and stuff that wouldn't hurt at all. And the only thing we saw was a cardboard thing, which I guess doesn't hurt. So maybe she is just grabbing balloons. That is that what we're gonna go with? You wanna work oh, off that okay. assumption? No. No, but no, okay, so so my argument is just that his escalation of force was unjustified in the first place, right? She was clearly aggressing. We like neither of us ever disagreed on that, which is why again it was so irritating at first. We didn't disagree that she was the first aggressor. She was the first to become physically aggressive. But that doesn't justify his response. Why couldn't he remove himself physically from this situation? She could have been blocking a doorway. He could have not been in a great state of mind to do it. I'm not sure. It's hard to say when somebody's being domestically abused what actions they should or shouldn't take. It's hard to ascribe a very high level of agency to somebody that is currently being domestically abused by their significant other. Well, there see, it's interesting that you say that because if, if I see, like, the gender swap here, I don't think you would ever say, like, oh, man, the man came back asking for more. Like getting like into her face, like because she gets what? in his face, right? Okay, yeah, if the so man kept coming back for more. Yeah, of course I would say he's coming back for more. What do you mean? Really? So if the woman's like, "Go away! I just want to be on the computer. Just please go get away," and then he comes up and starts screaming in her face, you'd say he came back asking for more. Yeah, that he was re-escalating again. Of course. What do you mean? And she wasn't just screaming, Wait. she was being physically abusive. If a situation is de-escalated, it was physically violent, and then both people have stopped being violent, and then the other person comes back and starts screaming and throwing shit at him again? Yeah, of course they're re-escalating. Wait, so... So we, is the re-escalation is literally just her getting closer to him? And throwing shit at him and screaming at him? Yeah? Well, absolutely. I, okay, so, okay, so... But, but not... What did she throw at him after 55 seconds? I don't know. I can't see it. It's off screen. I mean, to, I didn't it, maybe see it. Maybe it was balloons? I, okay, so, so it, it, well, no, I, I'm not assuming that, right? I'm assuming, of course, it's, you know, the worst, right? So, so then she maybe throws something and then approaches No, not him and maybe throw apology, something. Right? She's clearly doing something. Like he's raising his hands up to block. Well, no, him. she's she approach she approaches him, right? She's very very close to him to the point where you can see the back of his shirt when he hits her the second time. So she obviously gets very very close to him, way too close to him. Again, like she's aggressor in this situation, right? And is yelling at him, demanding an apology. But how do you de-escalate from this situation? Well, he apologizes. Apologize. He did. No, he explicitly does not apologize. He We're not going to grant this. We're never going to grant this. Later. You hate the guy. I will apologize later. No, and then he, he said, I will apologize. He said, I will apologize. He said that multiple times. That's not fucking apologizing. Okay, we're never going to grant this. I mean, like, the fucking man is fucking horrible and evil. Like, I agree with you. Like, you win the debate. All right, are we good? Like... Wait, I mean, okay. I you, mean, sure. You got that's it. A, I mean, like, you're literally like, well, no, he didn't actually apologize. He said he will apologize. Like, this is so fucking stupid. Like, I don't even know. Like, What do you mean? Because, okay, your your entire argument hinges on him de-escalating. De no. He's not de-escalating. No, no, no. Firstly, firstly. Him de-escalating no, no. and saying, sorry, sorry, that's it. There's no asterisk there. No. There's no, first I will all, say sorry. First of all, There's no, no. Like, is that really, like, your apology no. in life? Firstly, that isn't my entire argument on him de-escalating. I'm just saying that he did say that he would apologize for hitting her. He de-escalates by telling her to stop, 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 multiple times. That's his de-escalation. So, okay, when it didn't work the first 40 times, and now she's just asking for an apology, do, do you think maybe she should change her strategy? Instead of saying, I, you know, okay, Instead I'll of come saying, downstairs, stop, I'll stop, come downstairs, stop, I'll, I'll apologize said. later, I'll apologize later. Obviously, this is escalating the situation. This is making her more angry. No? His de-escalation attempt is making her moment, more angry. Moment. Yes, I agree. Okay. Do you not- so are you telling me that somebody's saying stop, 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 that that doesn't count as a de-escalation? Hold on, I'm- No, okay, so- so it doesn't- like, again, does, does he have any, like- so you're saying she's blocking the door? I don't know if she has so or not, he I'm can't, not sure. What about when he approaches her and gets in her face? What about when he approaches her and gets in her face after she's already escalated it to physical violence? What do you mean?
Yeah, she, she can't be blocking the door at that point, no? I don't know if she is or not. I can't see the doorway. I don't know what the layout of their house is like. And how, how, I mean, well, she's pregnant, but I don't think she's that overweight. That she can be blocking the door while also standing immediately next to him. So no? is he supposed to punch he, her? Is she supposed to pick her up and throw her? Is he supposed to shove her out of no, the way? Because a, then you would be sitting here he, crying. He could, go, that he, he could that maneuver he around her, no? No, no. Oh, my God. This is silly. No, like, you're you, fucking you're retarded, dude. Like, I can't not... even believe that you unironically. Are you like, she can you're move seriously? over around her. I, I know I'm you're... done, dude. Good night. I can't. All right. I'm sorry. I, I'm actually done. I can't have these conversations. We're um, we're done with this. I love you guys. It's been fun. Like, I can't, I can't actually do it. I can't actually do it. Like, she can maneuver around. Like, I'm sorry. I love you guys. It's been fun. Um, men are fucking evil. Anytime they abuse someone, like, that's it. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. Um... Like, see you guys later. Like, holy shit. I'm actually so fucking triggered. See you later. Peace out. I, for the record, people that, like, make so many excuses for domestically abusing men are actually fucking disgusting. I can't believe how fucking disappointed I am, like, in general, in the community, that this many people are, like, so fucking on board with, like, men being domestic and try so fucking hard to make excuses for the woman. It's, like, very fucking sad to me. But, I mean, that's, I guess that's just the fucking meme. I'll see you guys later. Good night.